legend in Frank right. Linty, but yet he's been there six years and he's won three state championships. 3-0 and in title games, that's a pretty good record for him. And Joe Hermini, he gets down his growth note here for the first time since 2004. Yeah, he did. And again, as we talked about before, you hope you can build off this and continue to keep the, uh, keep the North program at the top of the West Suburban Silver and beyond. Let's look at the highlights here, the Caravan and the Trojans. Obviously, for Downers Grove North, they knew it was a tough hill to climb, and Mount Carmel jumped on them early. Four minutes to go here in the first. Jack Elliott with a pass to Kevin Gardner on a deep post. 28 yards there to make it 7 to nothing. Jack Elliott was pretty much flawless through most of this game. Here, this is a tight window to Gardner again. Another touchdown to make it 14 nothing. Four catches, 79 yards, two touchdowns for Gardner. Uh, this was an interesting play for Downers Grove North. Owen Thulin sticking with it, showing off good concentration, getting the ball off of the flexion. That would set up a field goal for their only points at one point in the first half. Here, though, late in the third quarter, Jack Elliott with that excellent fake runs it in for the touchdown. That would make it 28 to 3 at that point. Another look at it as Jack Elliott executes that play fake to perfection, running in for his third touchdown of the day. It'll be a 35 to 10 final for Mount Carmel, coming away with Jordan Lynch's third championship, his third in six years, as you said, Kenny. And obviously, we saw a lot of offense. We saw a lot of yeah. Jack Elliott there. The junior was spectacular for the caravan well spectacular is an understatement you look at his stats he was 28 out of 37 284 yards two touchdowns he ran for 74 yards and a touchdown he totally dominated and controlled the entire ball game and really if you think about it too for mount carmel in this game they had the lead early they had a slight mishap with the muff punt and then they found a way to kind of pick up their momentum again yeah i here's a question for you guys Mm -hmm. Is Jack Elliott player of the year? Something well, to think about. I mean, that's he a pretty good resume. Well, he's got a pretty, a pretty good, good resume. resume. Uh, Something to think about. I think about. Dupree may have a few votes also, but... But you he, look at the numbers. You look at the, the numbers, and he's only a junior, and he's done such a wonderful time. And look at this. He has all the time in the world here on the post pattern. That's just a wonderful pass right there to Gardner. He just does a wonderful job. Look at that offensive line. He, oh, can, he can have a cup of coffee. He had so much time, and as you said, that was a tight window, the way he threaded the needle. Look at this, right there, thread that needle, gets it in there. He may be player of the year because state championship team, you know, his resume's, resume's pretty good. You take out the two-point loss, they're the number Undefeated, one team. Yeah. Number one team, you they, take away the two-point loss. Yep. And the only team they lost to, of course, is here also playing for a state championship in the next class that we've seen yep. here. Uh, they did not need to use that Wisconsin committee, Darion Dupree, much for Mount Carmel as their defense really held down as Grove North in control yeah. throughout this entire game. They had a, a brief couple of moments where they got to the red zone, but were not able to stay in this game here at Tim. Dominant. Absolutely dominant. From start to end, they were dominant. No question about it. And just very, very impressive. Well, you see the score at 35 to 10. People may say, oh, yeah, you know, decent game. It wasn't that close. No. It's a 35 to 10 score, but the game was never in doubt, and it wasn't that close. And who knows? Downers Grove North did have the ball in the red zone, had a penalty that forced them to go for the field goal. Maybe they get a touchdown there. Maybe it changes things. Maybe not. Obviously, one team with over 400 yards of offense. It's hard to say <laughs> things were too yeah. close there where the other right. team had Hey, remember what Mike Dick has said. If it's and them butts were a barrel of <laughs> nuts, we'd all have point. a Merry Christmas. That is a fair point. What we do know <laughs> is, in fact, no if needed here. Mount Carmel has their 15th championship in school history. A 35-10 to 10 win over Downers Grove North. Three champions have been crowned. That's your caravan championship right there going back-to-back. -back. They're the second team to repeat here today. Will a third team do it as well? Will Academy and Lincoln Way East in the final game of the season. That's coming up next when we come back. Prepare for the holidays with great Black Friday deals at Menards. We have the perfect gifts for your family and friends or to help finish your projects, both big and small. Now's the perfect time to hurry in and get these amazing stocking stuffers and other fantastic gifts. Menards Black Friday deals are so great that even Santa himself can't resist. Four seasons greetings to you all from Menards. Imagine going from the classroom to the big stage. This territory, this place, our home isn't just for learning, but for understanding the very power of what imagination actually means. A place where you can know from player to coach, from the ground to the sky. So close your eyes, envision the roar that is a spirit of thousands of salutes. Capture this moment and go forward together. 
Want a great career? Join the Carpenters Union and be part of the next generation building our communities. With the Carpenters Union Career Connections Program, high school students get a head start on the industry's leading curriculum. Learn the latest in construction technology and the many skilled crafts the Carpenters Union represents. Plus, earn as you learn. Receive a nice paycheck, health insurance benefits, and best of all, no college debt. Ask your school district to participate in the Career Connections Program and get started on your future. I'm attorney Howard Ankin. I'm proud to be a 1990 graduate at the University of Illinois. And today, I'm one of the largest filers of workers' compensation cases throughout the state. From Champaign to Chicago and everywhere in between, I'm helping people with auto accidents, work injuries, slip and fall cases, medical malpractice, and any other type of injury accident related matter. Let me see what I can do for you. Call me at 312 6 million. Injury law made personal? That's Ankin Law. As we wait for our kickoff in the final game of the day, let's hear from our friends at Menards. Remember, you can save big money on all your home improvement needs with Menards. I love to be able to make something that didn't exist at the beginning of the day. Seeing nature can be inspiring. I want to make things that can mold well with nature. We love sitting around our kitchen table. We spend a lot of time coloring and drawing and just having fun being creative together. A lot of creativity is emotional. If things are flowing, then you're firing in all pistons. Being able to envision something and being able to work with your husband to create that is really exciting and empowering. People will be delighted by just how much of the selection that there is at Menards. It's definitely a one-stop shop. Menards has everything you need, whether you're a weekend warrior or a daily professional. I have to use products that will last. For a lot of my pieces, I need a variety of hardwoods. Red oak, hickory, maple, mahogany. I can walk out of the door with exactly what I need. Menards is my custom shop. Whatever I draw, they can produce. They've made it easy for me to get what I need for my customers. I like the Menards Lumber Yard because it's stored inside, it's stored flat. Just the way they take care of their wood is second to none. The kind of quality that you put into your work indicates the respect you have for the customer. But what is more satisfying is when I realized we didn't just do a, a countertop installation, but we added to their quality of life. It's great to be able to work every day with your business partner, your co-parent, your best friend, and then see where that takes us on this journey in life. Everything you do matters, and if I've got a positive effect on all these things, then I believe that's a life well lived. I love what I do, I care about what I do, and so that's magical. There's always a, a sense of gratification, and that never gets old. Standing back and seeing what we've created is really the payoff of the whole process. There's always a place in this world for things that are well built, that can be used for generations to come. It's a great feeling to know that I'm creating pieces that are incorporated in people's homes and the spaces that they live in. Being a maker is all about controlling your own destiny. It really, truly just feels limitless. As always, thank you to our friends at Menards. One more game to come here in 8A Lincoln Way East, taking on Loyola Academy in a rematch of last year's championship game in the same class. But of course, we already had three champions today. We'll take a look at those games and preview the next one when we come back. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always 
outweigh the negativities. Every year, the Wiffles family celebrates the season the best way they know how. And every year, they add a little something new. After all this time, you'd think all that extra work put into every last detail would get old. Well, think again. Wiffles Hybrids. Season's greetings from our U.S. farm family to yours. I couldn't ask for a better agent, for a better company, in a disaster where you have no idea where to start. I learned that there's not a given in life. It takes a team. There's people that are going to watch out for us and they care. It's been pretty stressful. Once we saw Lori and got our plan, it's... Uh... Like a huge weight lifted. Would you look at that? I'm in the classroom again. But this time, I can apply these skills to make some money. Lots of money. Have a cough, sore throat, or fever, or need care now for pink eye, a urinary tract infection, or a rash? OSF On Call Urgent Care is here to treat you. Get care in person, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day, even holidays, and walk out with a prescription for your care if needed. Make a reservation today or start a virtual visit 24-7. It's just that easy. Find a location near you. OSFOnCall.org slash urgent care. Welcome back to the IHSA TV network. That is Hancock Stadium as the last two teams are getting ready to play the last game of the year, getting set in the 8 8 championship. Loyola taking on Lincoln Way East. Loyola Academy taking on Lincoln Way East in a rematch of last year's championship. That one is still to come, but we already have had three champions crowned today, Edgy and Kenny. We'll take a look at those champions as we've had a pretty exciting day here on a Saturday. The first game of the day in 5A, Nazareth Academy and Joliet Catholic. Joy Catholic had a 20 to nothing, lead, a 20 to 10 lead, excuse me, at halftime. And Nazareth Academy scores 31 straight points. This one giving them the lead for good as James Penley muscles his way into the end zone for their second championship in two years. In Class 6A, also a rematch of a championship game from two years ago. And look at that, a pass. The only pass <laughs> of the game, 17 for 29 on the season, 11 touchdowns for Peter, Peyton Seberg as he leads his team to a championship. And they close that one out with a 10-play drive, 10-minute drive on 19 plays for their second championship in the last three years. And the game you just saw a moment ago, Maurice Densmore getting in the end zone there, a part of a big offensive day for Mount Carmel. They take down Downers Grove North 35 to 10 to win back-to-back -back championships in the 7A championship game. So we've had two repeat champions, one champion getting back on top after a year hiatus. What really sticks out to you from what's been a pretty exciting day so far, Edgy? Well, for me, you start with Nazareth Academy, the first team to win a state title with single-digit wins. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's impressive. Getting into the path that they got into was absolutely unbelievable the way they were able to get on a roll. And, and Carrie Grove, I mean, 10-minute plus drive. That that's, that drive is going to live in infamy. So, again, an amazing, amazing comeback and a win for Carrie Grove. Well, you actually stole the two things I was going to say. <laughs> so, since you said it, there's no need for me to repeat it. So, I'll just say Mount Carmel, what a performance. Very, very impressed. George Lynch, third state championship, unbelievable. What a day it has been at Nazareth Academy. Goes from 0-4 to a championship. Kerry Grove, as you said, 10 plays, or 19 plays, excuse me, 10 minutes and 41 seconds on a drive to lead them to a championship. So it's been a pretty spectacular That's day. That's got to be that a T-shirt and carry. Oh, yeah. Okay. At that time. Yeah. Got to be. They'll be talking about that not only for the rest of the winter here, next year, years down the line. <laughs> Those kids, will, Logan Abrams specifically, who had the touchdown to seal that drive, will be talking about that one yep. for a while, the sophomore there for them. And then, as you mentioned, Mount Carmel making some history here with their 15th championship. What will we see in the final game of the day in 8A Loyola Academy? and Lincoln Way East getting ready to play in that championship game. We'll get your guys' thoughts on that matchup and head out to the field 
when we come back. Feels good to be home. Ashley's Black Friday sale continues this weekend. Friday through Monday, shop limited time doorbusters starting at $199. Plus, get 25% off store-wide on qualifying purchases. The best Black Friday furniture deals are only at Ashley. Tomorrow, I'll be making a difference in the classroom. Tonight, I'll be making memories with the dance team. I'm expressing myself with my poetry and with my hands. I'm providing for my patients and for my community. At NIU, you'll go places as unique as you with the resources and support to get you there. Join us and start writing your story today. I am. Gotcha! Tis the sneezing. Protect your family from COVID, RSV, and the flu. Diamonds at historic lows. Half carat solitaires, two ninety nine. One carat, five ninety nine. Two carat, fourteen ninety. Our lowest price ever. One carat studs, three forty nine. Thousands of GIA diamonds guaranteed the lowest price. Set while you watch the Jewelry Exchange Villa Park. Feels good to be home. Ashley's Black Friday sale continues this weekend. Friday through Monday, shop limited time doorbusters starting at $199. Plus, get 25% off store-wide on qualifying purchases. The best Black Friday furniture deals are only at Ashley. Welcome back. There is Hancock Stadium, Loyola Academy and Lincoln Way East getting ready to play in that AA championship game. We've had a lot of fun up here. Darius Joshua, Edgy Tim, Kenny McReynolds, but the guys will be having a lot of fun as well in this championship game. Dave Bernhardt and Chris Highland. They are at Hancock Stadium. What's going on, guys? Well, you are right in terms of having fun. It's been an all weekend of fun for us, but uh, right now it is like so excited. And I'm going to do some real deep analysis right here, uh, Darius and Chris. I'm going to say, these are the two best teams in 8A, Chris. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> That's really all you have to say at this point. I tell you what, we talked about it in the 7A game. I think both of these teams have had this game circled on their calendars for quite a long time. Illinois high school football fans have had this game circled on their calendars for a really long time. And we're going to talk a lot about a really, really good Lincoln Way East defense and a really good quarterback for Loyola. But for both of these teams, it really starts with the men up front. Yeah, let's talk about those men up front. Let's talk about for Loyola first. He wears number 50. His jersey is tight. That's Joe Kelly. Yeah, and that's a guy who we talked a lot about in last year's state title game. His name just kept coming up and kept coming up. He had an injury that put him out for a lot of the playoffs last year, and he had a great state title game in 2022, looking to have just as good of a game in 2023, and they're really going to need him tonight. I know you like offensive linemen. Let's spin it over to the other side in Lincoln Way East. Man that's going to handle the ball every play, that's center Josh Janowski. Yeah, Janowski is really a force in the middle of that offensive line for Lincoln Waste. He's got to do it all. He's got to set the fronts and the formations. He's got to tell his teammates where they got to go. And man, does he do a great job of putting people on their back. He is going to be a fun one to watch tonight. All right, so you've got Kelly, you've got Janowski, you have Loyola, you have Lincoln Way East, you have the rematch from last season, you have two teams there, 13-0. I don't know what more you want to wrap up your Thanksgiving weekend in Illinois high school football. We've got more to come here from Hancock Stadium. Chris Highland, Dave Bernhardt, and we'll joined by Casey Standahar in a bit. Yeah, Dave, they laid it out pretty well. A pretty exciting game here to finish out the high school season in Class 8A between Loyola Academy and Lincoln Way East. That kickoff is coming up in just moments. We'll get you ready for that one when we come back. Imagine going from the classroom to the big stage. This territory, this place, our home, isn't just for learning, but for understanding the very power of what imagination actually means. A place where you can know from player to coach, from the ground to the sky. So close your eyes, envision the roar that is a spirit of thousands of solutions. Capture this moment and go forward together. Prepare for the holidays with great Black Friday deals at Menards. We have the perfect gifts for your family and friends. Or to help finish your projects, both big and small. Now's the perfect time to hurry in 
and get these amazing stocking stuffers and other fantastic gifts. Menards Black Friday deals are so great that even Santa himself can't resist. Four seasons greetings to you all from Menards. Want a great career? Join the Carpenters Union and be part of the next generation building our communities. With the Carpenters Union Career Connections Program, high school students get a head start on the industry's leading curriculum. Learn the latest in construction technology and the many skilled crafts the Carpenters Union represents. Plus, earn as you learn. Receive a nice paycheck, health insurance benefits, and best of all, no college debt. Ask your school district to participate in the Career Connections Program and get started on your future. Imagine going from the classroom to the big stage. This territory, this place, our home, isn't just for learning, but for understanding the very power of what imagination actually means. A place where you can know from player to coach, from the ground to the sky. So close your eyes, envision the roar that is a spirit of thousands of salutes. Capture this moment and go forward together. Still moments away from kickoff here in the 8A Championship at Loyola Academy in Lincoln Way East. A rematch of last year. And, Kenny, we are going to talk about these teams' offenses a lot, but it mm -hmm. may depend on Loyola's defense in this game. No question about it. Of course, they call Loyola linebacker academy. But can that defense stop Muhammad? He should rush for 1,300 yards and 20 touchdowns. And let's not forget Zion Gist. He's also rushed for 800 yards and 12 touchdowns. So they're going to have to stop the running attack of Lincoln Way East. And it's a low-scoring game last year, edgy 13-3 in Loyola Academy's favor here. Will, what will Lincoln Way East need to do to come away with the win? Well, I agree with what Kenny said about, about the running game, but Braden Tisher is a name to watch for Lincoln Way East. When he's going, he's throwing the ball well, but he's also running with the football as well. If he can get out and be a threat, then it's another dimension of that offense that East hasn't had against Loyola. And if it's a close game, Loyola has the best kicker in the state in Michael Baker. It has been quite a rivalry between these two teams. Five meetings since 2017 between the two sides of in this championship, or not only in the championship game, but in the playoffs for these two teams. Uh, three of those matchups have been in the championship. Four of them have gone Loyola Academy's way four straight for the Ramblers. I'm sure Lincoln Way East is looking to change that tide yep. here. Should be an exciting one when they kick off here in 8A. Let's get this action started. We'll send it over out to the stadium where Dave Bernhardt and Chris Heidel will take you through all the plays of the first half and of course the rest of the game after that as well. Hey guys. Hey Darius and uh, just to piggyback off what you just said not only familiar with these two teams if you take the last eight quarters that these two teams have played against each other the combined score is Loyola 16 Lincoln Way East 2. So Chris I'm going to go continue with this the familiarity and yet peaks right here in a championship game. Yeah, when we talked to Coach Bonar of Lincoln Way East, he did not shy away from the rivalry that these two schools are kind of building, in particular in the last two meetings in the playoffs. 2021, it was a semifinal. 2022, it was the state title game. And you're right, both those games have been super close. It was a trick play that got Loyola on the board in the 2022 game. As you can see, Lincoln Way East getting ready for this one. I tell you what, Dave, when that team takes the field, this place is going to explode. Well, they exploded in this semifinal final when Lincoln Way East demolished Barrington here come the Griffins 48 to 6 was the final in that one Lincoln Way East gets to the state championship game once again for Loyola Academy to the semifinal against York for the second year in a row Loyola took on York this time York had a 14-3 lead before Loyola came back in a hard-fought victory in the semifinal Bo Deschereau and his Ramblers are here in Hancock Stadium you have the most players on any roster here in this ball game. And they're all coming your way as the Ramblers take the field at Hancock Stadium. Moments away, your 8A championship. Loyola Academy, Lincoln Way East, and it's all coming your way right here on the IHSA Television Network. The IHSA Football State Championships are being brought to you in part by... Country Financial. Find out why over 1 million families let us protect their lives and livelihoods. Visit countryfinancial.com. I couldn't ask for a better agent, for a better company, in a disaster where you have no idea where to start. 
I learned that there's not a given in life. It takes a team. There's people that are going to watch out for us and make care. It's been pretty stressful. Once we saw Lori and got our plan, it's uh, like a huge weight lifted. Would you look at that? I'm in the classroom again. But this time, I can apply these skills to make some money. Lots of money. Have a cough, sore throat, or fever, or need care now for pink eye, a urinary tract infection, or a rash? OSF On Call Urgent Care is here to treat you. Get care in person, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day, even holidays, and walk out with a prescription for your care if needed. Make a reservation today or start a virtual visit 24-7. It's just that easy. Find a location near you. OSFOnCall.org slash urgent care. Every year, the Wiffles family celebrates the season the best way they know how. And every year, they add a little something new. After all this time, you'd think all that extra work put into every last detail would get old. Well, think again. Wiffles Hybrids. Season's greetings from our U.S. farm family to yours. With you on the IHSA TV network, Lincoln Way East head coach Rob Zvonar said it would take a Herculean effort against this Loyola Academy team today. He said he expects that. He said we haven't played them in almost 20 years, it feels like, but now it seems like we are playing them every single year. Loyola Academy is stacked, too. We know that. In fact, they're undefeated this year. But Zvonar said there are teams that play with each other and teams out there that play for each other. Tonight, you'll see which one we are. All right, great. Casey will be checking in with Casey all evening long. Dave Bernhardt and Chris Hyland in the booth. Lincoln Way East down on the floor. They won the toss. They defer to the second half. You take a look at Donovan Robinson wearing number one for Loyola Academy as Ari Daniels will tee this one up. No wind whatsoever here tonight. I don't know if we've ever been able to say that in an 8-8 championship ball game. It is cool. The temperature around 30 degrees. And it is 8A football. Two teams, 13-0. Everybody expected them to get here. They were in opposite brackets. And here they are in the final game of the 2023 IHSA football season. Daniels is ready. And here he comes. And Loyola will start from the 20-yard line. Your Class 8A championships here from Hancock Stadium on the campus of Illinois State University. First time since 1998 state titles have been played here in Normal. Our keys to the game tonight. Brought to you by Southern Illinois University Carbondale. Imagine the possibilities. Well, if you're Lincoln Way East, you got to start early and you got to score on this uh, Loyola Academy defense quickly. You got to be the first to 14. If you're Lincoln Way East on defense right now, you got to be ready for everything. It was a trick play that started the game for Loyola last year. Be ready for something crazy as you see. Fitz, uh, uh, Fitz getting out to a really nice run there on uh, first down. Looks like he's going to be really close to a first down. Ryan Fitzgerald, the junior quarterback. He has run the show, and we saw a great junior quarterback in Jack Elliott for Mount Carmel one game ago, and you're going to see a very similar player here. Fitzgerald to throw. Delivers. He has it complete. He gets it to William Carlson. That is a first down. Two plays and a first down for the Ramblers. William Carlson is 26th catch of the year. Fitzgerald doing it with his legs on the first play and his arm on the second play. We talked to his head coach. He says he gets a little nervous when Fitzgerald tucks it and runs it, but he's showing off both his legs and his arm early in this game. 
He's going to dish it again to Carlson. Takes a big hit driven out of bounds that time by Dylan Weathers. Weathers, 5'10", 160-pound junior. Lincoln Way East to bend, but don't break defense. They're going to do everything they can to keep the ball inside and in front of them and swarm to make tackles against Loyola. Loyola does a really good job of using all 53 and a half yards and spreads you out really well. Let's see what they do here with the tight end in the ball game. Lincoln Way East only allowing five points per game or 13 games. Run straight up the middle with a stiff arm to the 35-30 and out of bounds. Big carry that time to get things started. That is Drew McPherson. And this is where Loyola Academy is dangerous. They run behind those big hosses up front. They want to spread you out, but in all reality, they want to put a tight end in the football game and try and pound the football there. They do it for 22 yards and a big first down. Miss Gerald flips it out to the right side. Inbounds indeed. Weathers on the coverage once again in the third catch of the night already for William Carlson. Loyola taking this opening possession. We're only 60 seconds in. They already have it at the Lincoln East 23-yard line. Second down and three. Looking to get to the edge. McPherson pushed out of bounds. That time, Mike Miko Moraga was able to drive Drew McPherson out of bounds. McPherson checking into this game, 738 yards, averages 5.3 yards per carry. It's not a great block, but Michael Baker on the edge does a really nice job of hooking the linebacker to break McPherson free on the right side. Fitzgerald, play action. Over to his tight end, touchdown. Brendan Loftus with a touchdown catch. We have played a minute and 12 seconds, 15 yards on the touchdown catch. Brendan Loftus, just a junior. Little hesitation here from Fitzgerald and then delivers the dime. And that's a run pass option there for Fitzgerald. You see him put the ball in the belly of his back, McPherson, and all he's doing is he's putting his eyes on the linebacker that is guarding his tight end, Loftus. And if that linebacker bites on the run fake, he's going to pull the ball and throw it like he did. Really nice job. Good early score for Loyola. No trick plays on that drive. It was all business. Seven plays in a minute 12. And here's that touchdown pass once again. Fitzgerald's 19th touchdown pass of the season. Yeah, you saw the linebacker that was covering him. That was number three, Nick Peterson. He actually falls down on the play, and as soon as Fitzgerald sees that, he takes advantage, and Loyola's on the board early. So the folks here on the near side, the fans from Lincoln Way East who have really filled up this side of Hancock Stadium, have to take a little bit of a breath here because Loyola Academy came out and carved up the Lincoln Way East defense. The defense, we said, it's only allowed five points per game and only a total yardage per game of 165. Well, yeah, and we talked about the historic run that they've been on since week nine. That is only the second touchdown that this Lincoln Way East defense has given up in the last six games, including this one. I mean, they, they were they had five straight shutouts week nine through the quarterfinals. I mean, that is impressive to do. I don't care what your draw is. If you make the playoffs in Illinois, you are a good football team. And for Lincoln Way East to come out and shut out their first three playoff opponents and only give up six points to a really, really good Barrington team in the semifinals is impressive stuff. I'm shocked that Loyola was able to get down the field on them so easily. But I'm sure Coach Vonar has some adjustments for that Lincoln Way East team already. An 80-yard drive. It started the 20 after the touchback. Now Michael Baker has it teed up. You look at the far sideline. Loyola on hands and knees. Nearly out of the end zone. So now Lincoln Way East will start. At its 20-yard line, and their quarterback, you heard Edgy talking about a moment ago, Braden Tischer, 
Five foot 11 inch, 170 pound senior. He started in this game last year. He sure did. He's thrown for 1,600 yards on the year, run for 360 as well. So he'll go over 2,000 yards total this, in this game. But uh, I tell you what, the kid's got no fear. He doesn't look the part of an 8A quarterback. Looks a little bit different than the guy on the other side of the football for Loyola. But, man, I tell you what, I was impressed with the way he played last year in this game. Looking forward to watching him play today. Nearly five yards on first down. A time to look at the starting lineups. Tonight's starting lineups presented by OSF. Here's Josh Janowski. He anchors the middle of that line. Here are tackles of Anthony Arrivo along with Nick Hoffman. Mac Schiaffi along with Mikey Lombardo in the skill positions. Nuri Muhammad got that last carry. Trey Zavonar, highly recruited tight end. And receivers that can go get it. Speaking of going and get it, that is true of the Loyola Academy defense as well. We mentioned Lincoln Way East only allowing a little over five points per game. Loyola short of nine points per game allowed. Now it's third down and five for the Griffins. And it's the big senior that we talked about before the game started, Joe Kelly, who made that play. He's going to line up at defensive end. He's going to line up at nose. He's going to line up at tackle. He can do just about anything for Loyola Academy. As you see... East wants to go five wide, but they've only got 10 seconds on the play clock here, and they're just getting the play in. I don't know if they're going to get this off in time. Clock down to three, to two. Senior gets the snap just in time. Tisher looking right all the way. And that will be just short of the first down. A completion went to Cade Saraskis. Saraskis, 19th catch of the season. Jack McGrath. I think they're going to have to punt this away. I don't know. This is a really tough call to make early in the game, but I know it's only fourth and two. You want to have confidence in your offense, but I think this is the right decision. You've got a really, really good punter for Lincoln Way East, so try and flip the field, rely on your defense, which has won you ball games all year. Ari Daniels has a 73-yard punt to his credit this season. It's Donovan Robinson deep for the Ramblers. Not much of a rush. Robinson a chance for a return here from 37. Robinson across midfield and Loyola Academy will have the ball in Lincoln Way East territory leading seven to nothing. Well, a start that maybe is a bit surprising because we have points on the board. Prepare for the holidays with great Black Friday deals at Menards. We have the perfect gifts for your family and friends or to help finish your projects, both big and small. Now's the perfect time to hurry in and get these amazing stocking stuffers and other fantastic gifts. Menards Black Friday deals are so great that even Santa himself can't resist. Imagine going from the classroom to the big stage. This territory, this place, our home, isn't just for learning, but for understanding the very power of what imagination actually means. A place where you can go from player to coach, from the ground to the sky. So close your eyes, envision the roar that is a spirit of thousands of solutions. Capture this moment and go forward together. The IHSA Football State Championships are being brought to you in part by Menards, SIU Carbondale, and by Mid-America Carpenters Regional Council. Loyola Academy will get the ball for the second time here early in the first quarter. Let's take a look at their starting lineup. Tonight's starting lineups are presented by OSF. You got a glimpse of them all minute and 12 seconds of them a little bit earlier now we can put some names to some numbers that's a strong offensive line it's always strong Bendry and Baltazar along with Mullen and Gullianis Matty McGovern anchors the center of that line and then the skill position players you've already seen Drew McPherson we talked about Ryan Fitzgerald William Carlson's already been active Loftus has a touchdown catch Baker and Kane very capable receivers as well ball starts at the Lincoln Way East 49 yard line Fitzgerald to run all the way Fitzgerald with a five yard gain with a 10 yard gain on first down 
Your OSF starting laps tonight for Lincoln Way East on the defensive side. The defensive front, oh my goodness, so tough. O'Rourke, Wusky, Fushi, and Malium Mayena. The linebackers, they may be as good as the defensive front, and Dirk and Peterson and Ladeer. Dirk and the leading tackler all time. Season singles season record for Lincoln Way East and a secondary that's gone and gotten it here in the postseason. Deshaun Eccles, one of the best around at cornerback, JT Point, and Stephen Gardner Giss, and Cade Fatlin. McPherson with it with a flag down and we'll stop this play right here. That run by Fitzgerald came up just a bit short. Ball start. Number 50. Offense. The five yard penalty. Suck it out. Here's your referee, Jeff Otterby. Pete Blair is the linesman umpire. Scott Vandermoon. Chris Terpstra is the line judge, and the back judge is Robert Ibarra. We get the privilege of working this one. Five-yard penalty against the Ramblers. Surge from the offensive line. McPherson is dragged down. That time he is... Russell to the ground by Nick Peterson, 195-pound senior linebacker. That's a really good job by Peterson to run that window. With how good that Lincoln Way East defensive line is, the Loyola offensive line is going to have to do some double teaming. They're going to have to stay on those blocks longer, which means that Durkin and Peterson, those linebackers from Lincoln Way East, have to run those windows when they get the chance. Loyola now in a two tight end set. They like to run the ball here. For about three yards here to pick up the first down. Power to the right side. They Fitzgerald to run behind it. He's banged and he's dropped short of the first down. He thought he saw an opening in there. Number 21 was involved on the play. That is JT Poynton. And it was clogged up in the middle. Let's take a look at it again as they shift the second tight end over so that they can get an extra hat for the quarterback run and look at all of the Lincoln Way East jerseys that are in on that tackle. Gage Ladeer, number 96, one of the men on the first hit. And Loyola to go for it here on fourth and a couple. Big play early. McPherson joins Fitzgerald in the backfield. McPherson will get it. McPherson will be stopped. Coming out of there, number 91, Caden O'Rourke, the All-Stater. What a play by Caden O'Rourke, and you can feel the energy in this building. The senior comes up with a huge play. As Lincoln Way East turns away Loyola Academy. When your plant whistles hybrids, you're making a statement that independence and family-owned means something on your farm. So make your choice. Plant your independence. Plant Wiffles. Smiles. These are the healthy smiles of real Delta Dental members. Folks with access to the nation's largest network of dentists and low deductible plans with 100% preventive care coverage, all backed by over 65 years of expertise. Go online or give us a call to learn about affordable individual plans that meet your needs. 1-800-335-8215. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that high-yielding hybrids soon would be there. Hope you get everything you want this year. Happy holidays from your friends at Wiffles Hybrids. Back here at Hancock Stadium, Caden O'Rourke with a huge play for Lincoln Way East on a fourth down stop. Watch him 
move down the line of scrimmage and do a great job against Loftus, the tight end. He pushes him right in to McPherson, the running back. And man, the Griffins are fired up. Let's see what they can do and if they can take advantage now. They've got all the momentum down 7 nothing in this game early on. Loyola 80 yards on their first drive, 9 yards on the second possession. Turning it over on downs. Good field position for the Griffins. Carry that time again to Nuri Muhammad. Muhammad coming off a 136 yard rushing effort in the sectional championship win or the semifinal championship win over Barrington. A 49 to 6 score. Their running attack is nothing fancy, Dave. He's got 1,300 yards on the year, but. They just run a lot of lead, a lot of inside zone. You're not going to see a ton of pullers for Lincoln Way East. They like to run the wall right behind their star recruit in Janowski at center. They'll stay in the ground in Muhammad. Surge from the offensive line. How much weight do you think was on that pile between defensive and offensive lines? I'll tell you what, yeah, there's a lot of big men up front for both of these teams. It's going to be a lot of three, four, five yards in a cloud of dust and then hope that Muhammad can break one as you continue to lay on that Loyola defensive front. I just don't think they're going to wear down, though, because, man, these guys are tough. Griffin's looking for four yards here on third down. Tischer by himself. He is met head on. It was number 41, Quinn Herbert, with the initial tackle. The initial hit. Herbert, a wrestler, headed downstate. That's how he attacked Tischer. And it will be about two yards short of the first down, and Lincoln East will have to punt again. Here's Quinn Herbert. Quinn Herbert, you'll hear Joey Herbert's name. Their cousin and also neighbors. Their grandfather, Mike Herbert, was all conference in 1956. Quinn, by the way, all conference this year. Daniels on a wobbler to Robinson. Robinson, quick acceleration, gets him to the 35. 15 yard return for Donovan Robinson, and the schools located in the Chicago area, as most of the class 8A schools are, Lincoln Way East in Frankfurt, in the southwest suburbs of Chicago. A fairly easy drive here to normal. And on the other side, it is Loyola. They're going to have to make a little bit longer drive coming from Wilmette, sitting in Cook County there. Last year, these two teams drove down. Interstate 57 to get to Champaign. Fitzgerald delivers. Shaking a tackle is Michael Baker. Baker pretty sneaky there, the senior. Three-year starting kicker. Making his mark here on the pass-catching side as well this year. That's a really good job by Loyola to get in front of the chains here. Make it second and short so that you've got all the playbook to work with. From a low snap. And that will be enough for the first down. Fitzgerald, seven of seven. Once again, it's Baker. Baker, man of many talents. We said a wide receiver, also a great kicker, plays hockey. And he also considers himself a good table tennis player. That's getting the job done. First down, bouncing outside to Spin Miller. Miller, good yardage. Maybe enough for a first down on first down. What a job by Finn Miller on his first carry of the state title game to lower his pads at contact and fight through arm tackles to get nine yards. Really nice job there. You can see them pull the guard. It's counter, and man, just bouncing off of guys at the second level is Finn Miller. 3-10 to play in the first quarter. Loyola has racked up 111 yards of offense. They're on the move here from the Lincoln Way East, 45-yard line. A lot of time for Fitzgerald. Here he goes. The stiff arm, the turn. 
Fitzgerald inside the 35-yard line. And another Loyola Academy first down. What a job by Fitzgerald to keep this play alive. Does a really nice job keeping his eyes downfield as long as he possibly can. Good coverage by Lincoln Way East. Just can't find anybody open, but that's why he's so dangerous and such a talented quarterback is he can make plays with his feet. Stepped out of bounds at the 35. This resembles the first possession of the game for the Ramblers. Now Fitzgerald's changing the play. It looks like at the line of scrimmage. The flags thrown on the far side. Illegal procedure, but we'll back it up five. Ball start. Offense. Number 73. The five-yard penalty. Still first down. Third time Loyola has had the ball here in the first quarter. Faced with a first and 15. The completion, it's a short gain of about four yards. Emerging from that pack of Ramblers on the far side is Nick Aragundande. He has been big in the postseason. In fact, in the quarterfinals against St. Ignatius, very first play from scrimmage, got an 80-yard touchdown pass, part of a 138-yard receiving day. And he's really come on here in the playoffs. Been a nice addition to an already really dynamic Loyola offense. Fitzgerald under pressure. Has his strength to get away and deliver it. A first down inside the 20. Talk about decision making. He found Finn Miller. That is one of the strengths of Ryan Fitzgerald. His poise, his maturity, and his decision making. Well, it's just so difficult to see Kate O'Rourke has him in his sights and he gets away. It's just so difficult to defend a quarterback in an offense like this. Lincoln Wace is going to take a timeout and talk a little bit about what they want to do to stop Loyola inside the red zone here. But, I mean, look at Fitzgerald. Keep his eyes downfield, stay alive, find your outlet, does a really nice job of getting positive plays out of what looked like it was going to be a sack for Loyola Academy. Our last ball game saw Mount Carmel win a state championship. Their only loss in the season came in week number nine to this Loyola Academy team, 23 to 21. And you saw the camaraderie, the sportsmanship, the support as Mount Carmel left the field after the 7A game and Loyola Academy came on the field here for the 8A game. Yeah, they did. The, the Mount Carmel uh, uh, team stayed on the field and actually formed like a little tunnel like you see like in youth football or something, you know? The, the first team comes off the field, next team coming on the field, and they had their hands out, a little high-five line for Loyola as they took the field. So some really nice sportsmanship between two really storied programs who, uh, who fought, fight hard every single year, and that was a heck of of a game in week nine um, and uh, Loyola um, did a nice job to take care of the caravan that day. Ryan Fitzgerald eight of eight in the air he's going to run this one he's able to power his weight inside the 10 yard Ryan line Fitzgerald those eight carry. completions have gone to five different receivers for the Ramblers first down for the Ramblers. and yet another first down it will be first and goal Nine first downs here for Loyola Academy. Lincoln East in its two possessions does not have a first down. This is a defense that looks a little stunned as Loyola's kind of had their way with them on these first couple of drives. Miller, he'll head off left tackle. Finn Miller driving forward with other maroon jerseys with him. Emily Miller on the carry. Yeah, Finn Miller just keeps those legs moving, will not stop. Does a nice job to get Loyola down to the two-yard line. And here's where Loyola really 
can do some damage because they're bringing in their big package here. Looks like four tight ends in the game, one wide receiver split out. A little bit of a substitution mix up. They'll readjust here as Miller comes back into the game. There's going to be a flag. Now, did, however, did Loyola get a timeout first? Before the foul, timeout. Loyola. That's the first timeout of the half. Okay, so they did get the timeout before the penalty call. That would have been an illegal substitution there. So the package uh, wasn't quite put together properly. Well, that's such a tough call for an official because the, the rule is 12 men in the huddle or illegal substitution, like you said, right, Dave? Well, when a team doesn't really huddle, yeah. how, do you, how do you determine when they had 12 in or when they didn't? So uh, that's a tough one there. Head coach for Loyola Academy is Bo Deschereau. Now, that's a familiar name because he's been an assistant at Loyola for the last 20 years. However, this is the first year as head coach taking over for John Holasek. In fact, Deschereau preceded Holasek in this program. John Holasek, of course, three state championships. On the other side, for Lincoln Way East, Rob Savone are his 23rd season, 232 wins. He has been the only coach Lincoln Way East has ever had, and Lincoln Way East has been to the playoffs every single year of the school's existence, including year number one when they had no seniors in the building. It's been an incredible run for coach there at Lincoln Way East. Miller will get it. This time he's met head on and driven back. See number 90 there, that's David Wusky. Part of that crew up front along with O'Rourke. O'Rourke, Wusky, Durkin, all those guys in on the play for Lincoln Way East. This would be a huge goal line stand for the Griffins if they can keep Loyola out of the end zone here. It's the 10th play of the drive, third down. Gerald up underneath center. Pass run option. Fitzgerald dribbled out of bounds. Took a hit from Nick Peterson. And Fitzgerald not happy. He thought he had the corner of the end zone. On Loftus, his tight end, I think, wanted him to throw that football. He wanted him to give it up. Let's see here. You see Loftus fake like he's coming across, and if he just maybe pitches it, he's got maybe a chance to get to the end zone, but what a stop. Is that Nick Peterson again? Yes. Another great play by the linebacker from Lincoln Way East. Loyola's lining up to go for it. They've already been stopped once on a huge fourth down. Let's see if Loyola can punch this one in. Everybody in tight. Fourth and goal. Fitzgerald has enough touchdown, Loyola. Three-yard touchdown run for Ryan Fitzgerald on fourth and goal from the three. What a great job by the junior quarterback punching that one in. Everybody in the building knows you're running the football here. Everybody's in tight, like you mentioned. Lincoln Way East has 11 in the box, and that's just a man who will not be denied. Nice job by the junior. Baker looking for the extra point. And it is blocked. Big time block by the Lincoln Way East special teams. The score remains 13 to nothing as Loyola goes 65 yards and 11 plays, knocked off three minutes and 31 seconds off the clock. Here is that block of that extra point. Let's see if we can see who gets a hand on it. I don't know. Is that maybe it was O'Rourke that got a hand on it there for Lincoln Way East? Caden O'Rourke, 6'5", coming hard from the edge was Jayshon Eccles. In a close game, that is a play that could loom large later on. 
Two touchdowns and three possessions for Loyola Academy. Last year, they defeated Lincoln Way East in this title game 13 to three. They have those 13 points right now. And I think there's a little bit of stunned silence on the Lincoln Way East side. I don't think they thought that Loyola would be able to come out and punch two quick scores in in the first quarter on them. Let's see what their offense can do now. And this is somewhat of a concern despite putting up almost 50 points last week. The Lincoln Way East offense at times has not been the one. It is not designed to be an offense that's going to score 40 points on a night in and night out basis. And now they face a defense that is well, arguably these two defenses are the two best in the state as well. Griffins to start from their 20. Tischer to the near side, and depending on where he steps out of bounds, Ryan Usher may or may not have a first down. It looks like they will give it to him. Yeah, that's a really good job on first down of getting Tischer going. Lincoln Way East has to run their offense through their quarterback. I mean, he had a really good game last year as a junior. Uh, and he, he can make every throw in the book. He can run the ball between tackles or even outside the tackles. He's got to get them going. On play action, Tischer is able to get rid of it in time. He is facing a little bit of pressure there. He got it to Stefan Gardner Gist. Gist, a game break breaker. He's moved to the offensive side of the ball, doing some double duty. They wanted to get him out there and make things happen. He gets his first catch of the game, and that takes us to the end of the first quarter. Two touchdowns for Loyola. They hold the 13-0 lead here in your 8A title game. Ashley's Black Friday sale continues this weekend. Friday through Monday, shop limited time doorbusters starting at $1.99. Plus, get 25% off store-wide on qualifying purchases. The best Black Friday furniture deals are only at Ashley. Tomorrow, I'll be making a difference in the classroom. Tonight, I'll be making memories with the dance team. I'm expressing myself with my poetry and with my hands. I'm providing for my patients and for my community. At NIU, you'll go places as unique as you with the resources and support to get you there. Join us and start writing your story today. Wait, stop scrolling. I'm here to help. For what? The ACA Health Insurance Marketplace Open Enrollment is here. You can find a health plan that works for you and your family or change your current plan. Through GetCoveredIllinois.gov, certified local navigators like myself can help you enroll and find out if you qualify for financial help. I really need to do that. That's why I'm here. Don't change that profile pic. You look great. Open enrollment ends January 15th. Hiring Chicago's IBEW Local 134 electricians and the electrical contractors of Chicago and Cook County are the choice for your renewable energy needs. All of our professionals undergo extensive training, emphasizing the latest EV, energy storage, and solar solutions, which sets us apart from any competition. Take the uncertainty out of your transition to renewables and let Hiring Chicago deliver the next generation of clean energy to you. Feels good to be home. Ashley's Black Friday sale continues this weekend. Friday through Monday, shop limited time doorbusters starting at $1.99. Plus, get 25% off store-wide on qualifying purchases. The best Black Friday furniture deals are only at Ashley. Had a great day of football here at ISU and Hancock Stadium. Don't be fooled by that 5A championship score. Julia Catholic actually led that ball game 20 to 7 at one point. Nasser Academy wins the state title with five losses. And in a great ball game, Kerry Grove for the second time in three years knocks off East St. Louis 23 20. Long drive, 10 minute drive in the fourth quarter for the Trojans. Speaking of Trojans, Downers Grove North could not keep up with Mount Carmel. Mount Carmel goes back to back, and Loyola looking to go back to back, holding a 13 and nothing lead as we get started with quarter number two. Tischer looking to the right side. He'll find his man, DJ Richardson, will make that grab. Richardson this season, his 22nd catch of the year. He averages about 32 yards per reception. First quarter numbers, Loyola outgaining Lakeway East 162 to 32. Lincoln East 
Running 22 plays to Loyola, or 22 plays for Loyola, eight for Lakeway East. Time of possession, a five-minute time of possession, five-minute time of possession advantage for Loyola. 9-1, first downs. That's the lead that Loyola holds over Lakeway East in the stats. They hold a 13-0 lead on the board. Tischer quickly to the left, looking to get a block. It wasn't there for Gardner Gist. Very excited on that far sideline because he was in the middle of that play was Jack McGrath. That's a really nice job there by Loyola to break up that screen. Lincoln Way East doing a lot of this quads formation, four to one side, trying to get that screen game going. But Lincoln Way East is just, or excuse me, Loyola is just so physical out there that it's tough for these wide receivers to block one on one against these linebackers. Again, trying to get the ball on in a hurry, trying to get it to the game breaker, Stefan Gardner gifts. And that defense for Loyola is so strong all year. Let's take a look at their starting lineups. Starting lineups tonight presented by OSF. Jimmy McGovern along with Joe Kelly on the outside. David Hagerdorf on the inside. Linebackers. As good a bunch as you're going to see. Ethan Ho, Colin Shy, Joey Herbert, and Jack McGrath. You just saw him in a secondary that may be tested here tonight. Donovan Robinson leads the way in that defensive backfield. Tischer on a delay. It slowed up momentarily in the backfield. And it will be decision time here for Lincoln Way East. They'll be about a yard short near midfield, trailing 13 to nothing. I think this is one you got to go for. I do think now you're in a position where you got to go for this one. Your defense is, uh, is already given up two touchdowns. And yeah, he is going to keep the offense on the field here. Let's see what they do on fourth down. Quick look to the sideline to try and draw Loyola off. They might take this all the way down and think about it before they actually go. That's exactly what will happen here with 932 to play in the first half. It was Loyola has been able to move the ball. Lincoln Way East starting to get almost into a must score, a first half score situation here. Yeah, it's tough to say with such a good defense that down 13 nothing. You know, it's a must-score situation, but I mean with the way that Loyola has come out guns blazing on this uh, on the offensive side uh, You have to wonder what coach Vonar and Lincoln Way East are thinking How can they possibly stop, you know, a, a really really good Loyola team? I'm sure he has plenty of adjustments that they can make but uh, you know you get behind three scores, you start chasing points against a really, really good loyal defense, they're going to be in trouble. Our two quarterbacks here tonight combined 14 of 14 for over 100 yards. David Wooski, who we usually see on the defensive side of the ball for Loyola, is one of those backs with his hand on the ground. You see him now motion over. He's going to be a lead blocker here. Here he comes, and that's enough for a first down. They call that the Tarzan package, a Tarzan special. First down run from Zion Gist, the brother of Stephen Gardner Gist. Huge first down for the Griffins. Loyola does a nice job of stretching that play to the sideline, but it's the vision of the running back that cuts that play back and gets the first down. Nice job by Gish. Fresh set of downs. Three minutes in to the second quarter. Tischer still perfect on the night. Delivers this one to Ryan Usher once again. Ryan Usher. 15 passes have been attempted here tonight. 15 completions. I mean, it's crazy how good these quarterbacks have been. Both number 15s for either side of the ball. Tischer, I tell you what, uh, he I'm just so impressed with this kid. He's got every throw in the book. Like I said, he's not afraid to run the ball inside or outside. He does not look the part, and even his coach says that. He doesn't shy away from it, but, man, I tell you what, he's got a lot of heart, and he's a hard worker. And flags thrown in the backfield, the defensive backfield. Oh, 
false start. This will be a tough off penalty off. against Liquid East. It's a five-yard penalty. Go stay it out. So a second down and fairly short becomes a second down and long. Number 73 there is Nick Hockman, 5'11", 235-pound senior. Right tackle for East. Gardner Gist motions here to the near side. Here comes Tischer that way. On the run, he get his hands underneath it. Indeed he did. D.J. Richardson, another grab. Really close to the first down and a good job by Tischer putting that ball where his wide receiver can get it on the run they're gonna looks like they're gonna take a measurement here yeah. stop no? the clock momentarily stop the clock just to check now they're gonna say third down it's third and inches Did they get him to jump? Well, it was going to bring pressure. Yep. It was the linebacker at the top of your screen. It's going to be an Ed's blitz. Jimmy McGovern. I think it was Clint Herbert. I think 41. Maybe. Maybe. That's who I saw. Was. Herbert, is it Herbert at the top? Well, they get just about all of them. Yeah. yeah. Pick a you're number. Right, Dave. Yeah, you're right. They got just about all of them on the front line to jump there. It gives Lincoln Way East a fresh set of downs. And they're back in that quads formation. They've run a lot of quick screen out of this formation. They try and get the ball of their playmakers out there. Tisher, though, the delay. Didn't like the middle. Comes to the outside. He'll go down underneath number 48, Colin Scheid. And just a quarterback draw play there. They had done so much quick screen out that way. They decide this time to have Tischer fake the quick screen real quick, run quarterback draw behind their big offensive line. Does a good job to pick up positive yards. Tenth play of this drive, the most sustained drive of the night for Lincoln Way East. And again, the completion. And again, it will go to Ryan Usher. The timing on some of these quick routes is just really good by Lincoln Way East between Tisher and Usher. Loyola's playing off coverage. They're playing their corners at about five or six yards away from the wide receiver. So all they're doing is they're just playing games with them, either a hitch or a quick out route. And it's the timing of the pass that's so good. That's why they're having so much success. Tisher third and short. That's enough and more. Tisher to the 10, to the 5. First and goal, Griffins from there. I said it early in the first quarter. They had to get Tisher going. In, his, in the first two drives, they handed the ball off a couple of different times and got two three and outs as a result. But now Tisher is rolling for Lincoln Way East in this offense. He's throwing the ball well, hasn't had an incompletion all night, and now having some big runs for this Griffin's offense. You got an excellent block there from five foot, five inch, 170 pound running back, Nuri Muhammad. To the deep back. Zion Gist, a yard and that's it. Zion Gist, number carry. Tackled by Colin Scheid. Good tackle there by Scheid. Joe Kelly also coming off the bottom of that pile. That Loyola Academy front is stout if you're Lincoln Way East what are you going to do are you going to continue to stay in this three back wishbone hybrid kind of look that they've got it looks like yes. they are going to stay in it Ruski's still in there comes to the right side defense shifts guest looking for a hole and again he's swallowed up Maybe another yard. Third and goal from the three. If I'm Lincoln Way East, I'd like to see them get out of this and maybe spread it out. They've had a lot of success. Why not spread it out a little bit here? Yeah, it looks like they're going to. Okay. Let's see if they spread it out and then maybe give Tisher another chance at a quarterback run out of something like this. Third and goal. That's a three-yard line. Yeah, Usher. 
And Trace Vonar will be the top. Gardner Gist goes out. Three left, two right. His Vonar's limping a little bit, so I don't know if he's going to be able to carry the ball here. It's going to be Tisher. Tisher up the middle. He's hit. Look at the drive. It will be fourth and goal. Let's see where they spot it. Looks like another one yard pickup, and they're going to put it down at the two yard line. Fourth down and goal. Griffin's converted a fourth down earlier in this drive. Fourth and goal, two yard line. And they may take a timeout here as Tisher is on the near sideline. They took a previous timeout in order to convert a fourth down. I think coach is going to take this all the way down, call a timeout. All right, well, Lincoln Wees takes the timeout. We'll take one as well. 3.30 to play. Fourth and two and fourth and goal when we come back. Every day, Union Concrete contractors are fueling a foundation that lets our city stand tall. They bring the tools, training, and know-how required to bring your commercial projects in on time and with the highest levels of safety. Visit ConcreteIL.com today to browse Northern Illinois' top union contractors specializing in commercial concrete and find the contractors you need to get your job done right. I couldn't ask for a better agent, for a better company, in a disaster where you have no idea where to start. I learned that there's not a given in life. It takes a team. There's people that are going to watch out for us and they care. It's been pretty stressful. Once we saw Lori and got our plan, it's... Uh... Like a huge weight lifted. This will be the last play of the drive, no matter what happens here on fourth and goal from the two. It's the 16th play of the drive. And do you know that Lincoln Way East took possession of this with 17 seconds left in the first quarter? And we have 3.30 left here in the second quarter. Here we go. We've got the power package in there again. Play action, roll out, end zone, it's Vonar. Touchdown! Tight end trains Vonar, son of head coach Rob's Vonar. On the fourth down, touchdown reception from Braden Tisher. He put it right on the money. It's Vonar, the catch and the toes inbounds. What a call, what a catch, what a throw. What a game we've got now as Lincoln Way East has a ton of momentum. Look at the play action. With a man in his face, Tisher puts it on the money, and look at that. He gets two in. That's, that's good in the NFL. Zvonar with a heck of a catch, and Lincoln Way East is on the board. Looking for the big extra point. R.J. Menching. We have a six-point game. How about that? Fourth down. Two conversions. Hey, look at that. I'm in the classroom again. But this time, I can apply these skills to make some money. Lots of money. cough, sore throat, or fever, or need care now for pink eye, a urinary tract infection, or a rash, OSF On-Call Urgent Care is here to treat you. Get care in person, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day, even holidays, and walk out with a prescription for your care if needed. Make a reservation today or start a virtual visit 24-7. It's just that easy. Find a location near you. OSFOnCall.org slash Urgent Care.
13 7. And look at that extra point that was blocked earlier on. Could loom large, but what a drive by Lincoln Way East, capped off by this touchdown pass on fourth down. Tischer to Trey's Vonar. Yeah, and it's a really good job by everybody involved from the play calling uh, to the throw, the catch. I mean, he's got a man in his face, does Tischer. Ian Hogue is right there, ready to make a play. And Tischer gets that ball off just in time to Zvonar. And man, do we have a really good football game brewing here. Praise Zvonar, stands 6'3", weighs 215 pounds. His twin brother, Tyson, also on the team, 5'9", 145. Talk about Tischer, 9 of 9 on that drive for 51 yards. As Lincoln Way cuts to a one possession game, Daniels a high kickoff. Loyola will go to the 20, and as tradition for Lincoln Way East, every one of their kickoff team will touch that goalpost. Ryan Fitzgerald, the quarterback for Loyola Academy. The junior has really emerged this season. We have seen some great junior quarterbacks, by the way, in these state finals. Fitzgerald's already had a great evening tonight, and he's going to look to start here for the 20-yard line. Loyola Academy already has an 80-yard touchdown drive, and they did it in just over a little over a minute to open this game. Fitzgerald will pull it down, and he will be pulled down once again. It's number 90, David Wuske. He's all over this field on offense, on defense, playing out of the defensive line here. Four-yard pickup for Ryan Fitzgerald, the junior. He won a three-way battle for quarterback. I don't know how much of a battle it could be, and there's his dad, the former Northwestern coach, Pat Fitzgerald. He's an assistant coach, volunteer assistant at Loyola Academy. He's up in the booth here tonight. Time in the pocket, delivering it deep, and overthrown as the coverage was good. It was just Sean Eccles on the coverage. First incompletion of the night for either side, and it looked like it could have even been offensive pass interference there. That was great coverage by Eccles. He's in outstanding position, and all Loyola can do is try and prevent him from getting an interception on that play. Really nice job. This is the first time that Lincoln Way East has forced Loyola Academy into a third and long situation all night. This Gerald time over the middle. Great catch across midfield. First down. This Gerald laid it out there. Drew McPherson pulled it in on the fingertips. The third and long is converted and more all the way to the east. 45 yard line, still 235 to play. What a throw and what a catch. It's the tailback leaking out of the backfield on a vertical who makes that catch. Nice job there by Loyola to move the chains. That was a 31 yard completion. And McPherson. Ran right by Connor Durkin, the linebacker. Gain of a yard on first down. Fitzgerald's done it just about every way you can tonight. He's thrown the ball really well. Gotten a couple of crucial first downs with his legs. Loyola going five wide now. And it looks like Lincoln Way East wants to bring pressure. Let's see if they drop out. Here they come. Quick delivery. Completion will go to William Carlson. He was busy early in this game. His first catch here in the second quarter. Loyola's got all three timeouts still, but they got to start looking at picking up the tempo a little bit. We're under a minute and a half to go here before halftime. Lincoln Way East is going to get the ball to start the second half, don't forget. So this is a really big drive. Loyola needs to come away with some points. That clock continues to run. I'm shocked how much time they're taking here. You can see Fitzgerald even on the side, or excuse me, on the field is kind of asking why he's not getting a play call. They're going to finally get that time out in. Yeah, they were down to five seconds on the play clock and 104 on the big one. Yeah, you can kind of see the frustration there on the on the field for Loyola, trying to figure out what play they wanted. 
Third down and four. You see head coach Bo Deschereaux there. They're going to have to dial something up against a really motivated Lincoln Way East defense that has a ton of momentum on their side right now. This is a rematch of last year's state championship ball game in 8A. And in that game, that was played at Memorial State University of Illinois. Loyola Lincoln Way East. And here was, we were talking about a trick play early. This came early in the ball game, and it resulted in the long touchdown. And in fact, eventually led to a 13-3 victory. Great catch in the end zone. There it is, Loyola Academy 13-3 to raise their state championship trophy. That's the fourth in school history to go along with five runner-up finishes. Lincoln Way East, on the other hand, they have three first place trophies. They've been runners up twice. Big third down and four here with 64 seconds to play in the first half. On the option to McPherson. Makes a good cut. That will not be enough. It will be fourth down. What a play there by the middle linebacker. That's Durkin again. I mean, the way that he has a nose for the football. And there's been a lot of really, really good linebackers at Lincoln Way East over the last decade or so. And Durkin's just another one in a really long line. I played with a couple of really good linebackers from both of these schools, actually. Uh, Pat Meehan, Pat Dot, uh, and uh, a couple of guys from Loyola. Really, really good job uh, there by Durkin. Fourth and three. Open the completion. First down, Loyola with 20 seconds left here in the half, leading by six. One timeout remaining for the Ramblers. The last completion went to Aaron Gundande. to play in the half. It was the fourth down conversion that set this play up because watch what he's going to do. He's going to fake the out route just like he ran on fourth down. Loyola's ran that two or three different times already today. Really nice job there by faking the out route and then heading for the end zone. Wow, what a play. What a great call. Loyola back on the board just before halftime. Baker for the extra point, sails it through. My, oh my, eight plays, 80 yards, it took 219. Fitzgerald, four of five, his second touchdown pass of the night goes to Nick Aaron Gondande. And that lead goes back to 13, 20 to seven. Here it is again. Yeah, Aaron Gondande with a really great route and a really good throw there by Fitzgerald just when Lincoln Way East thought that they had him. Loyola comes back with a huge answer just before the half. How about each of these teams are fourth down conversions in key situations that lead to scores. Well, Loyola knew what it was doing when we were talking about how they were letting the clock run. They've now run this clock all the way down to 13 seconds on that drive. Gardner gets deep or Lincoln Way East. Will we get a chance? No. Looked like he was trying his best to keep, <laughs> keep those toes and heels in the field of play. But in high school, you can't take the ball out of the end zone. So it's an automatic touchback. 13 seconds left. You have to assume Lincoln Way East is going to kneel on this football, take it into halftime, trailing 20 to 7. You know, isn't it amazing what we've seen here in the last three minutes? The emotion on the fan side in the fan section, Lincoln Way East fans 
completely charged up and revitalized after being quiet for most of the half. And now they are the ones sitting silent after the Loyola fans had their enjoyment with that touchdown pass. Griffins with Muhammad on the ground, and he'll scoot out of bounds, stopping the clock. No, Tisher doesn't have the arm to get it all the way there from here, but I just wonder if they're going to maybe try some sort of trick or anything. If I was Loyola, I'd have five defenders on the opposite side of the 50 here just to make sure Lincoln Way East doesn't do something crazy and get a quick score before half. Nothing crazy here. Looking to break one, and it was not going to happen. And that closes out the first half. What a final three minutes we have had here in the half. Loyola leading 13 to nothing, and on fourth down, Lincoln Way East with 3.23 to play. It's a touchdown extra point to make it 13-7, but right on back comes Loyola Academy scoring with 13 seconds left to push that lead back to 13 as we hit the halftime break. So, Chris, somewhat what we expected, but then also a little bit surprising as well. Yeah, I think that Lincoln Way East, other than that, you know, out and up that they just gave up right before the half, did a really good job of settling in as a defense. Um, made a couple of really big key stops against Loyola when they needed them. Uh, and that last drive for Lincoln Way East that took up a majority of the second quarter is what they have to hang their hat on here at halftime. They have to have some confidence coming out of the break that they can move the ball against this Loyola defense if they want any chance of winning this football game. they got to come out and put together a similar drive at the start of the third quarter. Bo Destro is the first-year head coach for Loyola Academy. He's been on the sidelines for several of these state championship ball games. This year, he is the man running the show. He'll look up the scoreboard and see a 20-7 halftime lead, and he's standing right next to Casey Standahar. Coach, your offense has been playing lights out, led by Fitzgerald, 146 yards, two touchdowns. How locked down is that unit so far? They, they've been doing a great job. It's, you know, Lincoln Way East is a great defense, and to be able to come out and do that in the first half, is good. We need to put it together, though, and do it again in the second half. Tisher staying in step with Fitzgerald. Completion for completion. How does your defense stay one step ahead of him? Listen, it's just it's just a matter of reading our keys and doing what we're supposed to do. If we do that, we keep up our physicality, we're going to be okay. Coach, thank you so much. You. We'll send it back to the studio in Chicago. BC, thank you. 20-7 to lead here at the half. Loyal Academy over Lincoln Way East. I'll tell you this, the Ramblers did not have to answer much in that first half, but they had a long drive from Lincoln Way East, and they come right back down and score a touchdown. Well, you know, that 32-yard touchdown may be the biggest play of the game yeah. because Lincoln Way East, you get in the end zone, you make it a six-point game, you get the momentum, but boom, all of a sudden, 32-yard touchdown pass, the Ramblers up 20 to and, seven. And Edgy, I think Lincoln Way East is going to want to bottle up that long, almost nine-minute drive and try to bring that out. In yeah, you want to forget, Kenny, we're forgetting that last play. We're just wiping <laughs> that clean. We're going to focus on that long, what was it, almost a 10-minute drive and uh, it, it ends in a touchdown. And again, you definitely got some positives there. But again, offensively, need a little bit more here if you're Lincoln Way East. Uh, Loyola defense doing a great job for the most part, so you need a little bit more offense if you're East. Lincoln Way East defense has kind of led the way for them all year long. They're going to see if they can bring that out in the second half as well. 20 to 7 lead here for the Ramblers at the halftime of the 8 8 championship game here down at Illinois State. A lot more to come here at this halftime. We, of course, have highlights as well as well of from this game as well. So we'll check that out when we come right back on the IHSA TV. Attention high school students. If you're tired of hearing the same old college debt story, we've got an exciting alternative for you. Join the Mid-America Carpenters Union and let your career dreams take flight. You can earn great pay, enjoy no-cost health insurance, and secure a stable retirement, all with no college debt and an elite career that's here to stay. It's time to build your future your way. Ready to carve your path to success? Contact the Mid-America Carpenters Union today to learn how you can unleash your potential. Prepare for the holidays with great Black Friday deals at Menards. We have the perfect gifts for your family and friends. 
or to help finish your projects, both big and small. Now's the perfect time to hurry in and get these amazing stocking stuffers and other fantastic gifts. Menard's Black Friday deals are so great that even Santa himself can't resist. Boy, season's greetings to you all from Menard's. Imagine going from the classroom to the big stage. This territory, this place, our home isn't just for learning, but for understanding the very power of what imagination actually means. A place where you can go from player to coach, from the ground to the sky. So close your eyes, envision the roar that is a spirit of thousands of salutes. Capture this moment and go forward together. You never know when you might be involved in an accident, so please put my number in your phone, 312-6 million. Injury law made personal, that's Ankin Law. The IHSA, committed to keeping student athletes safe. Through educational initiatives and national partnerships, we're going the distance to develop safer protocols for our teams. Plus, we continue to improve scheduling and conditioning to reduce injuries from preseason through each state championship. 31 sports, 350,000 student athletes, and one goal, player safety. The IHSA, the future plays here. Welcome back to the IHSA TV Network Halftime over 8-8 Championship Game Loyal Academy with a 20-7 lead here. Darius Joshua, Edgy Tim O'Halloran, and Kenny McReynolds to take you through the halftime action here. Now, that was a big play for the Ramblers, a nice three-minute drive to get a touchdown there to extend their lead once again, Kenny. Well, no, no question about it. Again, I think it's the biggest play of the game so far because you break the momentum that Lincoln Way East had. Also, Fitzgerald has been unbelievable today. Yeah. He has really been awesome. He's controlled the offense. A couple of long drives. He's only missed, what, one incompletion mm -hmm. the entire game, and that was a long bomb. So I think the Ramblers are doing exactly what they wanted to do, and defensively, they've held Lincoln Way East to 113 yards before the game. What do we talk about? The defense of the Ramblers. They were able to handle uh, Nuru Muhammad as well, a part of that offense. Maybe something for Lincoln Way East to kind of lay their heads on here. 23 total passes gave the one incompletion for Ryan Fitzgerald. Braden Tischer, 10 for 10 offensively, and they did have a big drive in the second quarter where they controlled nine minutes right. of the clock. We talked about it at the beginning of the show. I mentioned Braden Tischer. You had to get him going. He has to get going for you offensively. When he has, you saw some good things happen. Going back to the little Loyola touchdowns, the linebacker slipped on the first one. The second one was a broken coverage. Fix that going into the second half. And yeah, those are things that are unfortunate for a defense. Of course, it puts you in a 13-point deficit here at halftime. 20 to 7 lead for the Rambles. Let's check out the highlights of this first half and how they got to this point. First drive of the game for Loyola Academy. Ryan Fitzgerald right to break. Brendan Loftus, 15-yard pass to make it 7-0. Their next drive here, trying to go up two scores. A nice tough run from Fitzgerald there, but he gets up just short. Why not run it again? Fitzgerald gets in this time. No extra point, though. That one gets blocked. It's 13 0 Ramblers. And how about this is how you cap off a nine, nearly nine minute drive. Braden Tischer to Good throw. Trey <laughs> Zovenar. That's how you find the coach's son, and that's how you make an athletic catch showing off the skills. Must run in the family. That makes it 13 to 7 at that point. But the Ramblers come right back. A fantastic throw to Nick Aaron Gudande. 32 yards for the touchdown, and that's how you lead 20 to 7 at the half for the Loyola Academy Ramblers on their way to a second state title in a row. That's really how they want to execute. They've been leading on Ryan Sussfield, and he's been delivering. Well, he delivered today. Without question, he's delivered so far today, as have the defense, which has done an outstanding job stopping Muhammad and that great backfield of Lincoln Way East. So for Lincoln Way East, what do they have to do that they did on that long drive that led to a touchdown? What do they have to do to bring that to the second half? Control the ball, tempo. Run your offense, and again, mix things up enough just to be able to keep that defense off balance. Look, they're very good. We Everyone knows that going in. You got to keep them back on their heels a little bit, and they were able to do that in that long drive. And you go back to that touchdown, he threw the ball where only his man could catch <laughs> it, which was a great yeah. throw. 
Yeah, and I think that's something that they're going to want to look at when they want to execute. It was 13 to 3 last year in this matchup. It looks like it's going to be a much higher scoring game here, Edgy. We're we're heading that way. There's no doubt. But again, we're going to see some great adjustments on both sides with the coaches. So I think defensively, you'll see even better. An important first drive for Lincoln Way East here to start the second half. They'll be starting with the ball. What do you want to see, Kenny? If I'm Lincoln Way East, we have to get something this first possession. Yeah. If we don't get something out of this first possession, the ball game's over. We have to come out, make big plays today. And the Ramblers, they know it. So <laughs> look for that defense to come flying at the quarterback. They yeah. could not answer their first several drives from Loyola Academy as they were able to get their two-score lead. The Loyal Academy, though, did answer Lincoln Way East. We'll see if they have that answer for them here when the second half starts here. 20-7 to 7 here at halftime in the AA Championship. It's been a great day already. We'll see if this will be another great finish to the action that we've seen already. A lot more to come here at halftime when we come back. The IHSA Football State Championships are being brought to you in part by... Ashley Furniture, America's number one furniture and mattress retail brand. Northern Illinois University, where your future is our focus. Visit niu.edu. Get Covered Illinois. Your health coverage starts here. Open enrollment ends January 15th. And by Powering Chicago. Feels good to be home. Ashley's Black Friday sale continues this weekend. Friday through Monday, shop limited time doorbusters starting at $199. Plus, get 25% off store-wide on qualifying purchases. The best Black Friday furniture deals are only at Ashley. Wait, stop scrolling. I'm here to help. For what? The ACA Health Insurance Marketplace open enrollment is here. You can find a health plan that works for you and your family or change your current plan through GetCoveredIllinois.gov. Certified local navigators like myself can help you enroll and find out if you qualify for financial help. I really need to do that. That's why I'm here. Don't change that profile pic. You look great. Open enrollment ends January 15th. Feels good to be home. Ashley's Black Friday sale continues this weekend. Friday through Monday, shop limited time doorbusters starting at $199. Plus, get 25% off store-wide on qualifying purchases. The best Black Friday furniture deals are only at Ashley. Judge Judy rules at 4 and 5 on CW26. So far, am I right? Yes. Am I arguing your case right? Yes, ma'am. Could you do it any better yourself? No, ma'am. <laughs> the judge you don't want to cross. You don't want to get on my bad side. And she's never wrong. I know that I'm right. I was wrong in 1946. Last time. <laughs> <laughs> she's Judge Judy. Weekdays at 4 and 5 on CW26. Welcome back to the IHSA and TV Network. What a day it has been here on Championship Saturday. Three champions already crowned, two repeat champions. Another champion getting back on top after two years, a uh, little two-year hiatus. Uh, we saw some great finishes, Edgy, in the first yeah. two games. Of course, a great second half from Nashville Academy and a great final drive from Kerry Grove. Yeah, and again, it's it's been a, a great day of football. And and again, especially that that. Uh, Jolie Catholic game in Naz. Jolie Catholic had that early lead, and Naz just came firing back, and 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 just kind of talked, kind of just stood for their entire year. They yeah. they were able to overcome and get it done, and then again, the drive with Carrie Grove. It's <laughs> always it's always going to go back to the drive, the ten minute plus drive. Just absolutely amazing high school football. In Did those you ever first think you would see a state champion with only nine wins? <laughs> no. No, it's I'm unbelievable. Really yeah, you it's start part of it too. Zero and four, and you end with yeah. the championship coming back to your your your, your school and your city. Yep. That's a big uh, move for Nazareth Academy, and of course Mount Carmel getting their fifteenth in the school's history. Time Joliet Catholic Academy for the most in uh, the state of Illinois. In a dominant quite a, way. Uh, quite yeah, a dominant, dominant way. Yes, yeah, final score is thirty-five to ten, but it wasn't that close. So you see the score, you say, oh, pretty good ball game. It was a blowout. From start to finish. Really, it's been a great weekend overall when you right. think about the four champions from yesterday's competitions to the three and almost four now that we've seen here today, Edgy. Yeah, uh, I mean, you look at what Byron did in 3A, and I mean, they were just unbelievably on fire and and up and down and, uh, you know, and, and uh, Camp Point Central with an, you know, I guess we'll call it an upset win. Just <laughs> great football. 
Yeah, the first shutout for the, their opponent, you know, since yeah. 2007, their first championship uh, in their school's history. So we'll see if some history can be made in the final game here with Loyal Academy leading at the half. Here's Ryan Fitzgerald with one of his touchdown passes, a fantastic pass. He has had a great first half as well, 146 yards, and he's got the lead for his team. Attention high school students. If you're tired of hearing the same old college debt story, we've got an exciting alternative for you. Join the Mid-America Carpenters Union and let your career dreams take flight. You can earn great pay, enjoy no-cost health insurance, and secure a stable retirement, all with no college debt and an elite career that's here to stay. It's time to build your future your way. Ready to carve your path to success? Contact the Mid-America Carpenters Union today to learn how you can unleash your potential. Prepare for the holidays with great Black Friday deals at Menards. We have the perfect gifts for your family and friends or to help finish your projects, both big and small. Now's the perfect time to hurry in and get these amazing stocking stuffers and other fantastic gifts. Menards Black Friday deals are so great that even Santa himself can't resist. Warm season's greetings to you all from Menards. Imagine going from the classroom to the big stage. This territory, this place, our home, isn't just for learning, but for understanding the very power of what imagination actually means. A place where you can go from player to coach, from the ground to the sky. So close your eyes, envision the roar that is a spirit of thousands of solutions. Capture this moment and go forward together. The halftime stats are brought to you by Leona. Start your career in construction today at LeonaCareers.org. A pretty dominant first half Loyal Academy. They've got the lead 20 to 7 here at halftime. As always, time of possession somehow seems to be pretty even. But you see the total yards difference that has the, been the key for Loyal Academy making the most of all of their drives. We may not see it after this game, but it's been a great weekend overall here in the Chicago studios. And it's been a great tournament as well. We'll see what Lincoln Way East has here for us in the second half. There's their lone touchdown of the half. Dave and Chris take it through the second half. Ashley's Black Friday sale continues this weekend. Friday through Monday, shop limited time doorbusters starting at $199. Plus, get 25% off storewide on qualifying purchases. The best Black Friday furniture deals are only at Ashley. The perfect gift. One carat three stone and halo rings are $6.99. One carat two stone rings, $9.90. Tennis bracelets, $4.99 per carat. Top white studs, $5.99. Thousands of gifts guaranteed to appraise for double. Factory Direct, the Jewelry Exchange Villa Park. Hurry into your local Accurate dealer for the season of performance event going on now. Most doctors recommend daily walks because of the many health benefits associated with walking. But how do you get healthy circulation boosting activity without leaving your chair? With Legsercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. Soothe pain and calm restless legs. Reduce swelling in your legs, ankles, and feet and stimulate healthy circulation. Stay active with Legsercise Pro. Feels good to be home. Ashley's Black Friday sale continues this weekend. Friday through Monday, shop limited time doorbusters starting at $199. Plus, get 25% off storewide on qualifying purchases. The best Black Friday furniture deals are only at Ashley. Can't decide what to watch? I'm offering you 56 chaps. Sometimes it's better to watch... Nothing. I think we really got something in. What do we got? An idea. What idea? It's about nothing. And it's about nothing. Absolutely nothing. Everybody's doing something. We'll do nothing. Nothing. There you go. I think you may have something here. Seinfeld. Because nothing is really something. Ooh. Yeah. Seinfeld. Weeknights at 10 and 10.30 on CW26. Back with Lincoln White East head coach Rob Svonar. Coach, you said you've been feeling 
better before, not as good right now. What do you still want to uh, see? A little adversity here. We haven't had a whole lot this year, especially defensively. And Loyola came out and played a tremendous half of, of football, on, especially on their offense. And, you know, we got our backs to the wall a bit here, but we got to just fight back one play at a time and see if we can make it a ball game. When Tisher gets going, just what is he capable of? Uh, he's, he's our leader. He's been incredible for two years and, you know, small in stature, but plays 10 feet tall and bulletproof out here. And uh, the offense isn't the problem. We got to we got to make some stops on D and see um, again, see if we can get back in the game one play at a time. Coach Vonar, thank you so much. Dave, Chris, we'll send it back to you. All right. Very good. Thanks, KC. And Rob Vonar has seen what we have seen. And one of the other things that we have seen is quarterback play. Now, we've talked about coming up, leading up through seven games, about how wait till you get to the six, seven, and eight, eight games, going to see some great quarterbacks. How about these numbers? First of all, let's take a look at Ryan Fitzgerald. 12 of 13 throwing the ball tonight. He's done a really nice job spreading it out. He's also had a lot uh, to say about this game with his legs as well. This is the big one right before the end of the half huge touchdown pass there gets us to 20 to 7 Loyola Academy now Braden Tischer's numbers aren't going to be big in terms of yardage but he is not missed on a completion that was a big one there to Trey's Vonar yeah that was a huge fourth down conversion down by the goal line for Lincoln Way East man that was a really really good play by them nice job let's see what they can do here to start the second half and it will be Lincoln Way East to get hands on the ball first and it'll start from the 20 yard line. Nick Pinto, our statistician, always love to have Nick around. How about these numbers? Comparing last year's championship game to this year's. Now, it kind of gives you an idea of what Rob Zwonar was talking about. Last year, Loyola had 11 first downs the entire game in that championship win. They had 12 in the first half tonight. Last year, 199 total yards for the Ramblers. That was the whole game. 242 in half number one here this evening. Loyola's offense came to play against a really, really good Lincoln Way East defense, but it's the Griffins' offense that can get them started here in the second half. They'll try to start it with Tischer on the ground. I know they always say the uh, opening possession of the second half, how important that is. Well, especially against Loyola, the Ramblers don't allow points in the third quarter. No, they've only given up seven points in the entire season in the third quarter. So Lincoln Waste is going to have to change that if they want any chance here tonight. Tischer has a little bit of time. Misses on Muhammad. First miss of the night for Tischer. And Muhammad is a really good back, and he's really quick out of the backfield. And that's Jack McGrath, the outside linebacker, who's running step for step with Muhammad. Nice job there by the senior to pick up the running back on the wheel route out of the backfield and stay with him all the way down the sideline. Lincoln Way East just one of five on third downs. You mentioned Jack McGrath. The son of uh, Dan McGrath, who coaches at Loyola, his dad played at Downers Grove South in the early 90s and was an All-American linebacker at Western Kentucky. So you've got uh, some pretty good bloodlines there for the linebacker. Tischer over the middle, and it will be yet another three and out for Lincoln Way East, and it comes here in the opening possession of this second half. It's the exact same way the first half started. They just couldn't get anything going with Tischer on that drive. And you can see he's a little bit frustrated as he talks to his coach, confused on what happened on that third down play. But if Lincoln Way East wants a chance to stay in this ball game, that entire offense has to run through 15 right there. Ari Daniels, an accomplished international violinist. He's missed some Saturday practices. He's going to do the punting right now for Lincoln Way East. And he has a beauty. Look at that spiral, drives Robinson back. And he's just going to let this one roll inside the 20-yard line for Daniels. So Lincoln Way East defense will come out. The offense for Loyola has not been intimidated by field position near the 20-yard line tonight. Fifty-nine yard punt for Daniels. Great job flipping the field there by Daniels. It's what Lincoln Way East needed after a quick three and out. So when Loyola came out to start the first half, 
it was William Carlson who was the favorite target of Fitzgerald. Let's see if they go back to him again early in the second half. We'll go on the ground. Big room up the middle and bouncing to the outside. Play number one results in a huge game for Drew McPherson. An explosive run for McPherson. They'll say he stepped out of bounds to the 40-yard line. Forty-two yard run for McPherson. Really good run there. As he burst through on a counter, a couple of lead blockers on the play for McPherson. And then he runs through a couple of arm tackles. Huge play for Loyola, Loyola to start the half. Now in play action, Fitzgerald feels the pressure. He'll get positive yardage out of that. You know, and that is the sense that this junior quarterback has that you don't see too often in young quarterbacks in high school. The idea of his presence and who else is around me and how much time do I have. It collapsed pretty quickly, but he knew he had to get out of there. Well, he's a smart football player. And I mean, we mentioned it very briefly in the first half. He's the son of a big time college football coach uh, who was the was the coach of a Big Ten program for a really long time. Pat Fitzgerald was a really successful football coach for a long time. And you can tell that his son has some of those football instincts in him. Looking to make a move. Got an extra yard or so. And once again, the man who made the big catch late in that first half, Nick Aaron Gundande, will make that catch. Set up a third down and very short. Lincoln Way East was very good on third down in the first half. Loyola only converted one first, or excuse me, one third down in the first half. Let's see if they can change their luck on this very first third down attempt here in the third quarter. Loftus is in the formation. They like to run behind him when he's in there. They're going right there. And that should be enough. It looks like they're going to have just enough for a first down. Anytime you see 87 Loftus, the tight end, right behind that tackle, they, they really like to run behind him. It's either going to be that or he's going to pull along with that backside guard and they're going to run some sort of counter action back the other way but anytime you see him kind of real tight in the set they like to try and run right behind him there's Drew McPherson just recently busted a 42 yard gain that was on first down the first play of this first possession of the second half for the Ramblers McPherson again is able to stay in his feet Somehow, Drew McPherson got out of there. You know, last year, Drew McPherson broke his ankle in the sixth week of the season. He missed this championship game. Well, he's making up for the lost time from last season here tonight. Seven carries, 84 yards for McPherson. He's made a huge impact here tonight. Really nice job on that first down run. Again, the hole opens up the middle for Fitzgerald. Makes a man miss. Runs through another. He's inside the five. First and goal, Loyola Academy. You can see the frustration kind of starting to mount for Lincoln Way East after that 18-yard run by Fitzgerald, not only on the field but on the sideline as well as Loyola starting the second half the way they started the first half, just marching right down the field on a really good Lincoln Way East defense. First down and goal. Loyola's back in that three tight end package. It's Gerald running behind it. He's close. You can tell that the Loyola coaching staff has a ton of trust in Loftus, their tight end, because they had two tight ends set to the right, did the Ramblers, on that play, in that formation. But they actually run weak side quarterback sweep to Loftus, who's the only tight end there on the back side. So they've got a ton of faith in him that he's going to set the edge, and he does a nice job there, but Fitzgerald just can't punch it in. 
to the outside. Aaron Gundande nearly came up with it. Man, he stayed with that all the way. Nope. Sean Eckrell's on the coverage. He almost caught it off the back of Eccles, and then he almost came up with it again as he was falling to the ground. He's asking for a penalty flag. We'll take a look here. It's just one-on-one -on -one coverage. Fitzgerald's going to throw the fade. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of pushing and shoving on both sides there. I'm not sure who's got who. You're going to see a really good look at it here. Yeah, you see both of them look like they have kind of each other's shoulders there. A scrum in the middle of the field. Did the ball come out of there? Like what he says, there was a fumble. And it was. Somewhere in the midst of all that, the ball popped loose. And Lincoln Way East will survive that drive from Loyola. What a huge play for the Lincoln Way East defense. Somehow, someway, a white jersey came off it. Tomorrow, I'll be making a difference in the classroom. Tonight, I'll be making memories with the dance team. I'm expressing myself with my poetry and with my hands. I'm providing for my patients and for my community. At NIU, you'll go places as unique as you with the resources and support to get you there. Join us and start writing your story today. Hiring Chicago's IBEW Local 134 electricians and the electrical contractors of Chicago and Cook County are the choice for your renewable energy needs. All of our professionals undergo extensive training, emphasizing the latest EV, energy storage, and solar solutions, which sets us apart from any competition. Take the uncertainty out of your transition to renewables and let Powering Chicago deliver the next generation of clean energy to you. Here's that fumble. In fact, it, Ryan Fitzgerald never got the clean exchange Watch him go down for the ball immediately. Bounced off his hands. The official word is David Wuske in the bottom of that pile for Lincoln Way East. First turnover of the game here tonight in your 8-8 championship. I mean, what a play. Now Lincoln Way East 98 yards away. I mean, this game was two yards away from being out of reach for Lincoln Way East, and now they have new life. Run out of the end zone. Muhammad Hart running. Getting near the 10-yard line. That's a big eight yards on first down. It is. And give credit to that big offensive line. We haven't talked much about them since the start of the game, but that offensive line is putting in work, and that play looked like it was stopped right at the line of scrimmage, but it's those big guys up front like Josh Janowski and those others on that front five for Lincoln Way East that made that happen. Usher's able to get it from Tischer. He's able to stay in bounds out to the 16-yard line. That would be enough to move the chains. Nine plays over four minutes for Loyola. Comes up two yards short on a failed exchange. First down, Griffin. Well, just as you said, the body language was kind of uh, negative for Lincoln Way East. This changed here. Tischer can't get out of there. He got through one. He's not going to get through another. Colin Shine eventually put him down, number 48 for Loyola. And Lincoln Way East wants a penalty on a face mask. I shied, but they're not going to get it. Good job by Tischer to make something out of what looked like nothing on that play. Lincoln Way East taking a ton of time off the clock, just like they did in that drive in the second half, excuse me, the second quarter. There's still plenty of time on the clock here. No need to hurry just yet. But you have to wonder, how do they get this offense kickstarted? 
trying to get it to their playmaker on the outside. That time it will go to DJ Richardson. We haven't really seen much of Stefan Gardner Gist in terms of getting him in the open field. No, they're just trying to get themselves into these third and manageables as much as they can. They weren't super successful in the first half. I think you mentioned it, Dave, one of five in the first half, right? Right. In fact, uh, these two teams combined, two of nine on third down conversions in the first half, yet they were four of five combined on fourth down conversions. Now, this isn't necessarily a spot in the field where you want to go for it on fourth down, but... Big third down carry here. I don't know. Nope, I don't... I'm going to say he's a yard uh, short. Yeah. So we have four minutes and the clock running here. The ball at the 25 yard line, down by two touchdowns. It looks like they're ready to get that punt team ready. Yep, and here they come. No, it's not the punt team. No, they no, that's right. It's that it's that big package. There's a lot of big numbers out there. Yep. All right. But there's only 10 seconds on the play clock. They're going to have to take a timeout here. Yeah, they, they don't have enough time to get this play in. Mm, that's a tough one, too. The hesitation. That'll give us a chance to take a break with 328 to play in a third. Still 20 to 7, Loyola Academy over Lincoln Way East. When you plant Wiffles hybrids, you're making a statement that independence and family owned means something on your farm. So make your choice. Plant your independence. Plant Wiffles. Every day, Union Concrete contractors are fueling a foundation that lets our city stand tall. They bring the tools, training, and know-how required to bring your commercial projects in on time and with the highest levels of safety. Visit ConcreteIL.com today to browse Northern Illinois' top union contractors specializing in commercial concrete and find the contractors you need to get your job done right. Every year, you have a choice. One that says staying independent and family-owned means something on your farm. So plant your independence. Plant Wiffles. So it appears as we are able to stare straight down into that Lincoln Way mass huddle, you can see across your screen, they will be going for it with some big folks and that's how it's going to be so here you go fourth down about a yard from your own 25 down by two touchdowns late in the third quarter I mean, this is almost your ball game Dave with how well Loyola has moved the football against Lincoln Way East tonight and that's the first down for Lincoln Way East Showed the confidence on the right side of the line. Caden O'Rourke was in there to do some blocking. Wuski also doing some blocking. The carry was Zion Gist. Here's a look from the back. Now you can see it's counter. They pull the guard. He kicks out that defensive end. Or excuse me, is that the tackle there? Really nice job, Lombardo, of creating that hole. Mojave to go right through. Fisher stepped up into a pocket that collapsed around him. A loss of yardage on first down. He was looking to get some big numbers right there. And instead, that front for the Loyola Academy Ramblers. Number 50 there, you see Joe Kelly. We talked about him. Kelly, remember him last year? He broke his ankle early in the season last year. He rehabbed and he vowed that he would be ready to play for the state in the state championship game. And by golly, he did. And here he is, back-to-back -back years, an All-Stater. And a sprint out. And now the run, and it will become a third down and long for the Griffins. And this is what you just don't want if you're Lincoln Way East. It looks like Tisher's getting up a little with a little bit of a limp. He's trying to shake it off as best he can. The senior quarterback looks like he's hurting a little bit. This is his 10th carry of the game. 
And let's see what Lincoln Way East does here on third and long. This is not an ideal situation in their playbook. They like to be more third and short. They will go deep. And a little bit too high. Getting up there in the air. A lot of elevation and a flag is down back of the line of scrimmage. And this appears at least some of the pointing is going against Loyola. DJ Richardson went up to get it. But yet again, could there be a hold in here? That's now that's the body language or that penalty is declined. Fourth down. Illegal man downfield. You have a couple, couple of offensive linemen here. You can see Janowski, you can see him just continue to travel further and further. It's a great effort by Richardson to try and go up and get that football. But as I mentioned before that play, that's just not, they ran hitch and go with the with the three wide receivers at the top there. That's just not a play that they, that, that Lincoln Way East has in their playbook that they like to run. They like to be in that third and short where they've got more of their playbook open to them. Robinson with a chance to return. Good field position here for the Loyola Academy Ramblers with a minute and a half to play in the third quarter. And that gives us a chance to check in with the third member of our announcing team. That's Casey Standahar. Dave, thanks. Former Loyola quarterback and 2022 state champion Jake Sterney came back to support the Ramblers this week, and he's on the sidelines. You can see him there. And if you watched last year's 8A state championship game, you'll remember Sterney's flea flicker 80-yard touchdown pass to Declan Ford, a play they ran together when they were in grade school. Sterney now plays for Colgate University, and when I talked to him briefly, he said, yeah, we didn't make the playoffs this year, so I just wanted to come and support the guys. He passed on that number 15 to Ryan Fitzgerald, who's been wearing it pretty well this year, I'd say. Indeed, he has. In fact, that number 15, 15 was sturdy, 15 Fitzgerald. Rob Svonart said, geez, they just give the same numbers to the guys, and they all look the same. He said, he said they've always got a good quarterback that wears 15. They always got a big man that wears 87. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what he said. McPherson on that first down catch and Loyola, some of their better field position of the night to start drives. So here it is, Jake Sterney to Declan Ford one year ago. Big early play in that ball game. Right on back to Sterney. Lays it out there to Ford. You know, that actually, other than the flea flicker part, looks very similar to what we saw late in the first half when Fitzgerald laid it out just about like that to Aaron Gundande. Speaking of Fitzgerald, he stretches a little bit. That's just enough to get yeah. the first down. I mean, this kid is tough. When we talked to Coach Deshero, he said, oh, man, he just kind of winces when he makes those runs like that, but does a nice job to pick up a first down. Loyola will have it first and ten as we start the final quarter. That was a quick third quarter. No scoring in the period. So Loyola is now 12 minutes away from going back-to-back -back for state championships. And they would do it over Lincoln Way East. Back for the fourth quarter right after this. Feels good to be home. Ashley's Black Friday sale continues this weekend. Friday through Monday, shop limited time doorbusters starting at $199. Plus, get 25% off store-wide on qualifying purchases. The best Black Friday furniture deals are only at Ashley. Hiring Chicago's IBEW Local 134 electricians and the electrical contractors of Chicago and Cook County are the choice for your renewable energy needs. All of our professionals undergo extensive training, emphasizing the latest EV, energy storage, and solar solutions, which sets us apart from any competition. Take the uncertainty out of your transition to renewables and let Powering Chicago deliver the next generation of clean energy to you. Wait, stop scrolling. I'm here to help. For what? The ACA Health Insurance Marketplace Open Enrollment is here. You can find a health plan that works for you and your family or change your current plan through GetCoveredIllinois.gov. Certified local navigators like myself can help you enroll and find out if you qualify for financial help. I really need to do that. 
is why I'm here. Don't change that profile pic. You look great. Open enrollment ends January 15th. Tomorrow, I'll be making a difference in the classroom. Tonight, I'll be making memories with the dance team. I'm expressing myself with my poetry and with my hands. I'm providing for my patients and for my community. At NIU, you'll go places as unique as you, with the resources and support to get you there. Join us and start writing your story today. Feels good to be home. Ashley's Black Friday sale continues this weekend. Friday through Monday, shop limited time doorbuster starting at $199. Plus, get 25% off store-wide on qualifying purchases. The best Black Friday furniture deals are only at Ashley. Let's look back just moments ago, our defensive play of the game that's brought to you by Union Carpenters and Contractors, partners in building communities and supporting working families. It happened right there at the goal line. The fumble recovered by Lincoln Way East to deny Loyola Academy from stretching this 13-point lead. Loyola now will have it as we begin the fourth quarter. Ball in Lincoln Way territory at the Griffins 46 yard line. First down, McPherson running behind his tight end, Loftus. At about five on first down. What makes McPherson such a good running back is his ability to not only run the ball inside the tackles but also outside the tackles like on that sweep there he's got great vision he's very patient does a good job of letting Loftus set up the block and then making a nice cut for what looked like it was going to be no gain and he ends up getting five nine carries 92 yards for McPherson Fitzgerald delivers once again this one a hard shot he finds Owen Joyce first catch for Joyce tonight on a yard short of the first down the third down here in the early moments of this fourth quarter. So when they change the play like this, like they're doing right now, they like that quick hitch to the inside receiver. Instead, they'll loft it left side. It's caught. Inside a 15-yard line, big first down. Once again, they go to the tight end. He had a touchdown catch earlier tonight. That's Brendan Loftus. There's that 87 that Rob Zvonar says they should keep finding another big tight end and put it on him. So I mentioned that quick hitch, but here's what you do against press coverage. When you see a matchup that you like, you go to it. They saw that Loftus had the mismatch against his defender and he was playing tight coverage, so instead of the hitch, you call the inside fade route. That's a nice job by Loyola to get it inside the red zone. 24 yard pass completion. McPherson with the cut, but Fixon's going in. He didn't like the left side. He liked up the middle. Loyola scores again, a 12 yard touchdown run for Drew McPherson. This fourth quarter touchdown brought to you by Delta Dental. Find a dental plan that fits you at deltadentalil.com. I just talked on the last touch for McPherson about his patience and his vision. Watch them try and bounce this outside. Loftus and the pulling guard blocking in front of him. He sees that the window is closed, and so he does a good job with a nice jump cut to find the hole and find the end zone for Loyola. Ramblers want two. They'll get it. No, they'll say he was knocked away at the very end. Fitzgerald was celebrating. However, unable to hang on is Brendan Loftus. The coverage was to JT Point, and so came up short on the two-point conversion. And a 26-7 lead for Loyola Academy. Seven plays, 58 yards, 322. Headed for another state championship. Prepare for the holidays with great Black Friday deals at Menards. We have the perfect gifts for your family and friends. 
or to help finish your projects, both big and small. Now's the perfect time to hurry in and get these amazing stocking stuffers and other fantastic gifts. Menard's Black Friday deals are so great that even Santa himself can't resist. Imagine going from the classroom to the big stage. This territory, this place, our home isn't just for learning, but for understanding the very power of what imagination actually means. A place where you can go from player to coach, from the ground to the sky. So close your eyes, envision the roar that is a spirit of thousands of solutions. Capture this moment and go forward together. Loyola has eliminated Lincoln Way East. The state playoffs last eight quarters these two teams have played. Loyola's won both those ball games with the Ramblers combined for 16 points in those eight quarters tonight through just a little over three. An impressive display of 26 points on the scoreboard. Some pretty balanced numbers for the Ramblers as well. Yeah, you're right, 192 yards on the ground, Dave. 188 yards through the air, so Loyola doing a really nice job of being balanced and being so balanced is what keeps a really really good Lincoln Way East defense off balance not knowing are you in a throwing situation are you in a, a, a running down a, and not only is it that balance but it's how successful they've been on first down that has really helped them because then you have the entire playbook at your disposal if you can get it into second and short they've done a nice job Loyola Academy has of staying out of like third and longs that can really hurt an offense. Michael Baker will put this one in the end zone, does not want to take a chance in any long return here. Let's put a couple in the end zone tonight. And this will head right there. That gives us a chance to. Talk to Casey Standahar. What a warm story she's going to bring you here on a cold night. Dave, Coach Eschero said service is a big part of the DNA at Loyola. So every year, the football players and coaching staff hold a special football day for the residents at Misery Accordia. It's a center for people with mild to severe developmental disabilities. And on this special day, the residents come in, they learn from the athletes, kick field goals, run for touchdowns, and play catch with the players. They get to experience what life is like on the football team. Coach Desero said it's a great lesson to see how much empathy the kids have, and it shows them to be grateful for what they do have. It's a great story. Thanks for bringing it to us, Casey. And indeed, you know, there's so many people that benefit in different ways in your own lives for what those Loyola Academy Rambler football members do every year. You had those numbers, Chris, the balance. I was totaling them up. That's almost 400 yards of offense through about three quarters. There's no way you could have convinced me coming into this game that Lincoln Way East defense was going to give up 400 yards in three periods. Oh, no, you're right. I, I mean, a lot of the talk coming into this game was how good this Loyola, or excuse me, how good this Lincoln Way East defense was. Uh, they had a good offense, but man, they really hung their hat on defense all year. The success that they've had since week nine. I and mean, this is a team that had given up 20 points since the start of October. That's crazy. October 1st. Play clock winding down. They'll get the snap off. Need a first down right here, and they have it. The cut inside to midfield. The big play of the night, and it comes to Zion Gist. And with the play clock running down, too, that is a huge play for Lincoln Way East. What a good job as Gist comes limping to the sideline. Lincoln Way East still has some life, but they're going to need big plays like that, and they're going to need them in a hurry. Longest pass play of the night for Lincoln Way East, and went for 26 yards. To the near side, D.J. Richardson with the grab. Lincoln Way East, the Griffins. Picking the pace up a bit and clock hitting the 8-21 mark. Another play that moves the chains. 
that out route. They've run that out route about 10 times so far in this game, and they've been really successful. Going for it all. The catch is made. How about that grab? Ryan Usher. Really nice throw and a great catch by Usher. Lincoln Way East needs to capitalize on this momentum. They need to keep going. It's just a simple fade route. They see that they've got one-on-one -on -one coverage there with Usher. Really good job. Puts that ball in a fantastic spot. Usher comes down with a huge play. He's upset he couldn't keep his feet in bounds. Griffin's to the line in a hurry. Muhammad is absolutely swallowed up. I mean, he disappeared under Ethan Hope. Senior outside linebacker. Yeah, really good play there by Hope. When Lincoln Way East seems to have a ton of momentum, Hogue comes in off the edge, unblocked. Looked like they were trying to run some sort of inside zone, and they end up leaving him unblocked. Looking left all the way, and too much. Usher was there and well covered. Usher is incomplete. Seen this defense for Loyola this evening. Bo Deshro, very familiar with defense at Loyola over his 20 years as assistant. He felt like this may be the best defense that he's ever been involved with at Loyola Academy. Yeah, that's saying quite a bit when you say best ever. And you're talking about a program like Loyola with the tradition that they have. Five wide, they'd like to run Tisher in this situation. Said he fires close and a touchdown. Kate Zorowskis gets in. This fourth quarter touchdown is brought to you by Delta Dental. Find a dental plan that fits you at deltadentalil.com. It's just another out route, this time by the inside wide receiver. And what has been so successful for Lincoln Way East all night has been the timing routes that Tisher throws. I mean, his arm is is not, you know, outstanding. He doesn't have a ton of arm strength. But what he does is he is so fearless in fitting that ball in a tight window on a timing play like that. Looking for two. Squirts out of there, and he's going to get it. Braden Tischer, patience, patience, and more patience. Nets him a two-point conversion. Eight plays, 80 yards, two minutes and 48 seconds. Tischer. Four of five in the air, the last coming to Kate Zorowskis for the touchdown. Here's Tischer getting the final two points. It's 26-15 with 7.23 left. Smiles. These are the healthy smiles of real Delta Dental members. Folks with access to the nation's largest network of dentists and low deductible plans with 100% preventive care coverage, all backed by over 65 years of expertise. Go online or give us a call to learn about affordable individual plans that meet your needs. 1-800-335-8215. Have a cough, sore throat, or fever, or need care now for pink eye, a urinary tract infection, or a rash? OSF On Call Urgent Care is here to treat you. Get care in person, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day, even holidays, and walk out with a prescription for your care if needed. Make a reservation today or start a virtual visit 24-7. It's just that easy. Find a location near you. osfoncall.org slash urgent care. The IHSA Football State Championships are being brought to you in part by Lyuna. Start your career in construction today at liunacareers.org. Two-point conversion narrows it to an 11-point difference. A big... I, I would, this game will be decided in the next two and a half minutes. You're exactly right. And we just talked about it in the break. Lincoln Way East needs a couple of three and outs here, or they need a turnover. That's what they need. So if Loyola can sustain even 
a three and a half minute drive. Even if they still have to punt the ball to Lincoln Way East, Lincoln Way East just doesn't really have an offense that is built on scoring quickly. Loyola was anticipating an onside kick, and instead Daniels will make the Ramblers start at the 20-yard line. Long day of football started at 10 a.m. this morning, and we're about 12 hours into it. Julia Cathy falling in their chance to pick up their 16th state title because Nazareth Academy scored the last 31 points of that ball game. Remember that game from two years ago between East St. Louis and Cary Grove where Cary Grove knocked off the Flyers? Well, they did it again in dramatic fashion. A 10-minute, 41-second drive in the fourth quarter, scoring the final two minutes to win that one. Mount Carmel, an easy win over Donners Grove North to secure their 15th state championship. McPherson caught in the backfield. Not too many plays tonight have been for negative yardage for Loyola. And it's Caden O'Rourke and Wooski who are in on the play. I mean, guys whose names we've called all night had outstanding careers at Lincoln Way East. These are guys that started as sophomores. You remember Coach Vonar telling us about he started, I can't remember how many, Dave, six, seven, yes. eight sophomores a couple of years ago. Um, and, man, did they did they grow together as a unit offensively and defensively to have outstanding careers. The opening up the middle for Fitzgerald again. He has that first down. After a negative yardage play, Fitzgerald gets that back and adds about 15. And he's got himself a first down at the 32-yard line, and that'll keep that clock moving. Fitzgerald has been so good tonight. It's the decision-making as a junior. You mentioned it earlier in the game, Dave. The decision-making from him, he knows exactly when to tuck the ball. He knows when to throw it away. He's done a really good job of commanding this offense for Loyola. One of his shorter runs tonight. Got about a yard. Eighty-nine yards in the ground for Fitzgerald tonight. Fifteen carries. Pair that up with his running mate in the backfield, Drew McPherson, 102 yards, and you've got yourself about 200 yards in the ground and just two people. those big play box clocks at the end of the field and Fitzgerald uses most of it and he gets it to McPherson again. He is hard to bring down. He doesn't necessarily run through you. He must have something on his jersey because he just slides through all the tackle attempts. And what I love about that play is how heads up it is to stay in bounds. There was a couple of opportunities there where he could have stepped out, but he knows that keeping the clock running is just as important as getting the first down. So watch this. You're going to see them throw this bubble screen or this little swing route out of the backfield. And right here, he could stay in bounds. But, or excuse me, he could go out of bounds. But he does a really nice job of keeping his body under control, staying in bounds, cutting back inside, getting the first down, and keeping the clock moving. McPherson will get the carry again. Still on his feet, and he tucks it and goes down. Loyola's passed a 400-yard mark in total offense here tonight. And this is what you could not have if you were Lincoln Way East when this drive started. You needed to get off the field quickly. They haven't been able to do so. Loyola continues to chew clock, and this game is almost out of reach if you are Lincoln Way East. So to your point, Dave, earlier, Yes, now is the time that three and outs are out of the question. You have to have a turnover if you're the if you are the Griffins. Clock down to three seconds on the snap. Staying on the ground, it'll be hard to force a turnover when you have the senior Drew McPherson on the carry. Loyola got out to a 13 and nothing lead. Now three minutes, 23 seconds to play in a second corner. Lincoln East narrowed it to six at 13 to seven. 
but only three minutes and 10 seconds later, and that came with 13 seconds left in the half. Loyola got a touchdown pass from Fitzgerald to Aaron Gondotti, and we have not looked back from what was then a 20 to 7 lead. It's been cut now to 11. And Loyola has never really been threatened. Linkways has never had the ball with a chance to take the lead. Snapping it with two seconds on the clock. If you're Coach Bonar, you have to start thinking about taking your timeouts here. You got two left. I know you're down two scores, but if you can't take a timeout here and stop Loyola, you're not even going to have a chance for that final score if you can't at least get within seven. So if I'm Coach Bonar here, I think I take a timeout after this crucial third down play if I can get a stop. Loyola looking for seven yards here on third down. On the other side, if you're Loyola, I wouldn't be afraid to run the football here because I think you're in two down territory. Ramblers four of eight and third downs, and they will take that timeout before they pick up a penalty. And they have timeouts to use. Under three minutes to play. We've talked about them all night. How about our player of the game? It's Ryan Fitzgerald. The player of the game is brought to you by Country Financial. Find out why over one million families let us protect their lives and livelihoods. Visit countryfinancial.com for more info. We got the scoring going early with that touchdown pass to Loftus. He ran for one in the first half. It was this huge backbreaker of a play with 13 seconds to go in the first half that gave Loyola the 20 to seven lead at the break. Really nice job there by Fitzgerald. I've been really impressed with him as a quarterback here tonight for Loyola Academy. Only a junior. He's going to have a ton of big time offers when he hits the field for his senior season next fall. So what impresses you more, 89 yards of rushing tonight or 17 of 19 throwing the ball yeah. for 203 yards? Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the, the decision-making and the accuracy. I mean, he's got all of it. He's got the whole package. So when, when coaches flip on the film at the next level, they're going to see a guy that can play high-level college football. He'll throw in the run. Knocked away. What a big hit there by Jay Sean Eccles. Huge play because it stops the clock and it forces Loyola into a decision here. Do you punt this? Do you go for it? If you go for it, you guarantee if you don't get it that you're giving Lincoln Way East really good field position. If you punt it, I mean, you have the chance that it gets blocked bad snap so really tough decision here it looks like they're going to keep the offense on the field clock grinding down three two one they take the snap this Gerald running out of pressure directs some traffic and they will give the ball over on downs so Lincoln Way East will take it with 238 to play trailing by a couple of scores so here's why that was such a huge play for Lincoln Way East. Do a really nice job of forcing, as you see O'Rourke there, forcing Fitzgerald out of the pocket. Pass falls incomplete as he's looking for Loftus. Lincoln Way East has a great kicker. So if they can score here, all they got to do is get in field goal range for that second score. But this first touchdown is going to be key. You know what's key is a tackle right there. That was Connor Sullivan. Junior defensive lineman wrapping up Tischer. And here's what's working against Lincoln Way East is they're trying to hurry up, but they're running really, really deep routes right now. So they're, it's taking their team forever just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Give it to Richardson. He's looking to try to get out of bounds, not going to. That's a six catch for D.J. Richardson. How about the job Loyola did offensively? They didn't get anything out of it point-wise, but they took four minutes and 45 seconds off the clock after that touchdown from Tischer to Sarauskas.
Need about five yards for a first down. Tischer scoots his way up, takes a big hit as he has all night, and he did get that first down. Is right. They need, to, they need to get to the line of scrimmage quickly. Clock's moving. Coach Vonar still has two timeouts in his pocket. Down to 90 seconds and under 90 now. In the middle of the field. That will stop the clock for a first down as Tisha finds Sorowskis again. I mean, you know if you score a touchdown here, you're going to go for an onside kick. So you have to start thinking about using these timeouts right now. You do a good job of getting the line quickly after that play. One oh four. They needed that. They needed that incompletion because Lincoln Ways looks exhausted. They did. Yes. <laughs> you can tell. I was, it was funny <laughs> you say that because I was thinking that very thing. They needed that incompletion. They got it. They can change personnel, get who they want in here. You know, a name we haven't called other than they're going to have to get this ball off quick or they're going to have to use a timeout. Ooh. We're going to have to call it right oh, now. Oh, look at Coach Bonar is not happy. Ooh. So the timeout used after the clock had stopped after an incomplete pass because a little bit of confusion as to personnel play. And they were trying to get a new personnel package onto the field. And you'd rather be right in a situation like this than get caught in the wrong formation or get caught in the wrong personnel package in a play you don't want when snaps are so crucial at this moment. Well, but, my question would be, is it worth just taking a five-yard penalty at this stage? You're, you're you down by 11 anyway. It. You have to consider it. But they take the timeout. Now, if I'm Lincoln Way East, I got to draw something up really good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm talking. Everything's in the playbook here: hitch and pitch, you know, flea flicker, whatever it might be. While you've got the time to talk about it. Also, if I'm Lincoln Way East, I'm calling two plays in that huddle, just in case we have to complete a ball that is uh, inbounds. We need to have two plays ready so that we can immediately get up to the line and go again. Nobody open. It's third down and ten. Really good coverage by Loyola. They're getting pressure with just four up front, just making it easy for them to cover every single one of Lincoln Way's wide receivers. Somebody's name we haven't called since his touchdown in the first half is Vonar. I'd like to see if they can get him the ball here. He's at tight end. He's blocking right now. And another incompletion. It'll be fourth and ten. Well, as the time has wound down, the secondary coverage has tightened up for the Ramblers. This will be the fourth time Lincoln will used to be faced with a fourth down and where they'll go for it. Griffins have converted the previous three. They need 10 yards here. They will not get it. Loyola with 48 seconds left knows they have their fifth state championship and will go back to back. Back to back against Lincoln Way East. Tisher had a man open, just could not get it to him on fourth and ten. Really good coverage. And give Loyola a ton of credit. Their defense was outstanding tonight and came up big again in the biggest moment of the game there on fourth down. You see Tisher there on the sideline. He's got nothing to hang his head about. He gave it everything he had, uh, not only in this state title game this year, but last year. 
I mean, just a hard-fought battle between re two really, really good football programs here in the state of Illinois. Here is this last attempt to keep the ball moving. And he could not find Sorowskis. And for Tischer, he pretty much saw that that was his high school career ending, as it is for every senior on this field. Players in the white jerseys will pick up the runner-up medals and trophy, but it will be Loyola Academy going back-to-back. -back. Fifth state championship in school history. Their final score, Loyola 26, Lincoln Way East 15, your Class A state title game. Well, this game came in with as much hype as more hype probably than any other game here this weekend. Loyola really sent a message. I'm going to go all the way back to that opening drive of this game. An 80-yard drive that resulted in a touchdown, and that was a message that was sent to not just Lincoln Way East, not just to the people here, but anybody that was interested in high school football here in the final day of the season. Yeah, I mean, what a football game in Loyola came up big when they needed to it was a great job by their defense something we didn't talk a lot about coming into this game talked a lot about their offense their really good junior quarterback who performed fantastic tonight we talked about that Lincoln Way East defense and how good they were and at times they came up with huge plays a couple of big fourth down stops a turnover at the goal line when they needed it most but again Loyola proves to be just too much for Lincoln Way East as the Ramblers are your 8A title or are your 8A champions. Long line of handshakes. That'll give us a chance to step away. We come back, interviews as well as trophy presentations. Your 8A champions, the Loyola Academy Ramblers and head coach Bo Deschereau. The IHSA Football State Championships are being brought to you in part by Menards, SIU Carbondale, and by Mid-America Carpenters Regional Council. Imagine going from the classroom to the big stage. This territory, this place, our home isn't just for learning but for understanding the very power of what imagination actually means. A place where you can go from player to coach, from the ground to the sky. So close your eyes, envision the roar that is a spirit of thousands of salutes. Capture this moment and go forward together. I'm attorney Howard Ankin. I'm proud to be a 1990 graduate at the University of Illinois. And today, I'm one of the largest filers of workers' compensation cases throughout the state. From Champaign to Chicago and everywhere in between, I'm helping people with auto accidents, work injuries, slip and fall cases, medical malpractice, and any other type of injury accident related matter. Let me see what I can do for you. Call me at 312 6 million. Injury law made personal? That's Ink and Law. Prepare for the holidays with great Black Friday deals at Menards. We have the perfect gifts for your family and friends or to help finish your projects, both big and small. Now's the perfect time to hurry in and get these amazing stocking stuffers and other fantastic gifts. Menard's Black Friday deals are so great that even Santa himself can't resist. Attention high school students. If you're tired of hearing the same old college debt story, we've got an exciting alternative for you. Join the Mid-America Carpenters Union and let your career dreams take flight. You can earn great pay, enjoy no-cost health insurance, and secure a stable retirement, all with no college debt and an elite career that's here to stay. It's time to build your future your way. Ready to carve your path to success? Contact the Mid-America Carpenters Union today to learn how you can unleash your potential. The Crown Four State Champions today, but how about our Menards Plays of the Game? Time now for our Menards Plays of the Game. Save big money on all your home improvement needs with Menards. And it is our three state champions from earlier today. It was Nazareth Academy, Harry Grove, 
right there, Mount Carmel, and your five, six, and seven A champions. And there are your eight A state champions in Loyola Academy. All of those folks, part of our Menards plays of the game here on the final game, the final day of the high school football season in Illinois. Loyola, our most recent winner with a 26-15 win over Lincoln Way East. And Casey Stanahar has been down there all weekend long, and she's with the head coach, Bo Deschereau. Coach, two undefeated teams coming into this game, but you finish undefeated. How does it feel right now? I, it, it feels amazing. It's uh, It was definitely a heavyweight fight today, a championship fight. And, uh, you know, back-to-back -back state champions, the second um, perfect season in Loyola history for a state championship it's uh it's an amazing feeling it's an amazing feeling what's the number one thing that you instilled in your team that you saw them carry out tonight it, you know it's, it's to to overcome adversity and have that next play mentality that's something that we've been working on all year and uh you know they showed up today then when things didn't you know some things didn't go our way that they bounced back and they kept fighting and that's 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 really the key coach know? congratulations go enjoy this one yep. i'll bring in ryan fitzgerald the quarterback Ryan, congratulations. Two touchdowns on the day for you. Coach said that the confidence. <laughs> Coach said that the confidence that you gained over the past year has just improved. How much confidence did you have going into this one? Uh, I mean, it's just everything, like, so much confidence. I mean, I had confidence in everyone on our team, on our defense, uh, our wide receivers, but most importantly, our O line. And, and they stepped up today. I mean, I had all time back there. Uh, I mean, that one throw to Drew, that one throw. And then on, yeah, even when they brought pressure, we were able to slide the line and they were able to, to pick it up and we were able to get some key first downs. So, yeah. You told me that you and this 2023 Loyola Academy team wanted to create your own legacy. Did you do that tonight? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, well, Nima Shine, he, we have every, uh, every Friday we have mass, and uh, he said it perfectly uh, during, during our mass. He was like, we're either fighting for a 13-1 season or uh, we're fighting for history. First back-to-back -back, uh, state championship in program history. Second ever 14-0 perfect season. So it's really special. This team's really special. Yeah. So special A day champions. Ryan, congratulations. Enjoy this one. Thank you. Dave, Chris, send it back to you. All right, great job all weekend, Casey. And very cold, but she was here for eight games, 16 different teams. Wonderful job down on the field. And Chris, I have final numbers here, first of all, for Loyola. 421 total yards, 218 on the ground, 203 in the air. I don't know what more you can do. That's why you win a state championship. Yeah, absolutely. The balance and the amount of yards that they put up against a really, really good Lincoln Way East defense. Give all the credit to the Ramblers tonight. They earned it. Lincoln Way East awaiting the runner-up trophy. Not the one they wanted. It'll go with the one they had last year. And they once again fall to Loyola Academy as the Ramblers still celebrating out there near the 40-yard line, and now they will head to their sideline and enjoy their fans. Let's take, check in now with our public address announcer for the Lincoln Way East medals. This time we'll present the second place trophy to the Lincoln Way East, Lincoln Way East Griffins, who finished the season with a final record of 13 wins and one loss. Congratulations to the Griffins.
Finishing the season as the Class 8A state champions, the Loyola Academy Ramblers. Individual awards are presented to school president Greg Ostike. Principal Tim Devine. Athletic director Genevieve Atwood. Head coach Bo Deshero. And the Ramblers captain. Championship trophy to the Loyola Ramblers who finished the season with a final record of 14 wins and no losses. Congratulations to the Ramblers. You know, one thing that strikes me as I see these shots and hear the sounds is we've crowned eight state champions. And I don't care whether you come from a school with 200 students or you come to a school with 3,500 students. The joy and elation ex is exactly the same. Yeah, you're right. From 1A to 8A, we've had a fantastic weekend of high school football here. Back in Bloomington Normal for the very first time in a long time. And it's been really exciting to crown these eight state champions. And you're right. Whether it was Camp Point Central in 1A getting their title or Loyola in 8A, these kids put not just 14 weeks of a regular season and a postseason into these seasons. They started in June and then work their way through July and then August training camp and give all of these eight teams who came home with first place trophies today as well as the eight teams coming home with second place trophies. A lot of credit for making it all the way here to the final weekend of the season. Right, and congratulations to all those communities that have been able to share in that joy through the entire season. You know, you take a look at something like this, you say, well, it's all about that championship game. But as you said, it starts back in the hot days of August when you're sitting on those very hot aluminum bleachers. <laughs> you're right. And for these guys to bring a state title home uh, to their community and their fans, you saw Loyola Academy had a great student section here tonight, as did every program uh, that was here today. I mean, it, it's just such a, you can even see the, look at the relief in a head coach like Bo Deshereau's face. You can just see right there the amount of hard work that these programs put in, uh, not just uh, for these kids, but for their communities and for their schools. It's great to see them come home with that first place trophy. Well, we'd like to thank our entire crew here for a great weekend at Hancock Stadium and so again congratulations to all of the teams that made it here to the finals. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next year for Chris Highland, Casey Standerhart. I'm Dave Bernhardt. Let's head back to the studio one more time with Darius Joshua, Kenny McReynolds and edgy Tim O'Halloran. Thank you, Dave. Head coach for Lincoln Way East, Rob Zovenar, said that Loyola Academy had it all, speed, strength, coaching, you name it, and they put that on display, Kenny. Well, he's absolutely right. They had everything. You knew they were a good team. They showed it tonight. Can't say enough about Fitzgerald. 203 yards in the air, 89 yards rushing. What a performance. Yep. That's the way you bring home an 8-8 championship and close out the state football championship weekend here at Hancock Stadium. I think the first return to Illinois State University since 1998 went pretty successful. A pretty great eight-game uh, celebration for several teams. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, just a great weekend of high school football here in the state of Illinois. And, folks, I got to give it to you. 278 days until kickoff 2024. <laughs> the countdown has begun. Always looking ahead, Edgy Tim, looking ahead to 2024 and all the excitement that that year will bring. I, I'm not sure what exactly will stick out to you. I'm sure the drive, of course, will stick out for some people yep. for Kerry Grove and how they yep. won that championship. But overall, eight games, eight great uh, competitions. I, I think Nazareth coming back yeah. and winning, that yeah. stands out to me. 
at nine and five starting the year zero and four coming away with a championship so we've had eight champions crowned here this weekend of course you see the three of us but it's not just us getting this done a great crew here in chicago a great crew on site at hancock stadium getting everything done out there so a fantastic effort for everybody involved just a fantastic weekend we saw plenty of great football today in this championship we saw great plenty of good football yesterday in the championships what an exciting weekend for all of us here and an exciting season of football we will see you next year for everything to come in ihsa football Imagine going from the classroom to the big stage. This territory, this place, our home isn't just for learning, but for understanding the very power of what imagination actually means. A place where you can go from player to coach, from the ground to the sky. So close your eyes, envision the roar that is a spirit of thousands of salutes. Capture this moment and go forward together. Save up to 80%. Compare this designer brand's one carat band at 9500 with the jewelry exchange's high grade for 1490. One carat engagement rings 1990. Thousands of items guaranteed to appraise for double the jewelry exchange Villa Park. Black Friday savings at the room place. Sunday, take an extra 30% off store wide. Plus, get a free bike. 0% financing till 2028. And three day delivery guaranteed. Sunday at the room place. You're watching CW26. Hi, I'm Richard Thomas, and I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Holiday traditions are like old friends that come to visit once a year. They give us a chance to reminisce and count our blessings and to remember how deeply connected we are to one another. That's the way it's been with me and my family, and that's my wish for you and yours. Thanksgiving, in particular, is a day for reflection and reassurance, especially during difficult and confusing times. We're not only grateful for all those blessings we've received, but we're also reminded of the precious role that giving plays in all our lives. And that's the way it is with a family called the Waltons. During Thanksgiving season in 1934, we had much to be grateful for on Walton's Mountain. While the yield on Daddy's first corn crop was less than he hoped for, it was good enough to squeak by. Farm work was challenging, but we were far better off than most folks. I had been a bit distracted, and at times my mind would wander while thinking of stories I should be writing. And there were the two girls in my life. As Thanksgiving approached, we were reminded that sharing what we have was just as important as giving thanks for what we received. And I learned what it really meant to take responsibility for my actions. Thank you. Miriam, help me in the kitchen. Jim Bob, eat it or lose it. I'll eat it. You heard Use a fortune, Bob. What did I do? Uh, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Have you all thought about what you're grateful for? Well, I'm grateful for the Baldwin's Odd Jobs, that's for sure. Helps tide us over till planting begins. How about you, Jason? I'm grateful for no school over the holidays. Oh, mm. figures. Yeah. Well, I'm grateful for the new Packers book, lady. Mm. So is John Boy. Huh? <laughs> and why are you so grateful for? Well, you'll see. Jim Bob, what are you grateful for? 
Well, I'm grateful for the Harvest Festival Fair. Can't wait to see all the crafts. Well, I give it. I'm thankful that Sister Harriet and Brother William are helping me and Jason rehearse for the talent show at the fair. Elizabeth, <laughs> your turn. You first. OK, uh, I'm grateful for Mama's pancakes. Oh, John Boy, that is a cheat. We are all thankful for that. Now you. I'd be more grateful if Mama and Daddy would let me have a pet rabbit. Oh, OK, we have plenty of animals roaming around here. Okay, we don't need pets. Your daddy's right. What about you, Mama? You haven't said what you're grateful for yet. Oh, well, I thank the good Lord every day for this family. Well, nobody can talk that one. Okie doke. Jason, John Boy, we're off to the ball. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, let me show how it works. And then he picks the penny up when he gets back to the other side. You get the idea? Okay, you two carry on. I'll be back before you know it. Okay, my turn. Give me the penny, Jimbo. I had to give Jason my favorite marble for it because he said it was lucky. How do you know? Has a little ding on Lincoln's nose. Oh, well, of all people, it's Olivia Walton. Oh, maybe Emily, it's so nice to see you. I'll be right with you, Olivia. Oh, no, all right. We thought fresh lemonade for John and your boys would be a special treat during their work break this afternoon. That's so thoughtful, Emily. They're building an addition to the house as we speak. Is that so? We think demand for our moonshine recipe could double after the Harvest Festival Fair. Which is why we need the added space. Now that it's legal, we have entered the recipe in a contest at the fair. But I, I, I wasn't aware there's a category for the recipe. We proposed a new one. <laughs> Alternative beverages. <laughs> <laughs> and dear Mrs. Abernathy, who's president of the Festival yes. Fair Board, approved. <laughs> you know she's the richest woman in the county. Oh, yeah. And she was good friends with our father, the judge. Oh, God, God rest his soul. soul. She asked me to be one of the judges in the pie competition. <gasps> I'm very excited. Oh. 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 Whatever you say, dear. Well, what's wrong? Well, uh... I, for one, wouldn't want to be in your shoes if your mother-in-law was not the blue ribbon winner. After all, that's what she's known for in these parts. I have thought about that. And Grandma would want me to be fair. And she knows that I'm honest. So whatever the outcome, it won't bother her a bit. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm not so sure, dear. I shouldn't worry about it too much, Olivia. Whatever happens, sooner or later, whether she wins or loses, people will talk. Mm -hmm. Even the queen of pecan pies isn't 100% safe in this county. Does Grandma even know? Mm -hmm. Not yet. <gasps> Maybe I should withdraw. Oh, no, don't do that. You don't want to upset Mrs. Abernathy. Oh, no. She asked you to do this. Yes. Oh, that would be worse than upsetting Grandma. Oh. You're, you're, you're right. I have to do it. Oh, you're some brave woman, Olivia. 